I literally got all, almost all my crafters level 40 yesterday. Or yesterday and the day before. <clears throat> I booted it up last night and it made me watch the intro cutscene again, I think. Because it's a new version. Yeah, if you're on the starting soon or the starting screen um, long enough, it'll immediately go to the trailer. <laughs> it always does that. But yeah, if you're like, I don't want to see it yet, you have to like hurry and press escape. Okay, I was doing, I was, look at my llama or alpaca. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And then I think I can do. What is it? I can't do beckon? Or not beckon. What do I do? Feed? What is it? What is the thing? Or I can... It can eat from the palm of my hand. What is that? What is it? What is the... Slash... Not feed. Slash... Is it pet? Oh, I can pet it. Oh, that's cute. But that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, well. I'll have to figure it out. But anyways, look at it. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, hand over. Hand over. Look. Oh my god, it's eating. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. Alright, anyways. Um, I was doing this. I was doing this. Look at this. Oh my god. 50. I, everything's 40. A culinary is 71. Don't ask me why that one's like so high. <laughs> but it is. Um, and then I can't level up my Disciples of Land until I get through the main story. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, let's, uh, freaking finally play Final Fantasy today. Yes! Finally! But yeah, look, I'm, oh, excuse me, I'm 96, not 95. <laughs> Whoops. I'm level 96. Um, this is what I was talking about, about the fate grinding. It's called Shared Fate. So I did these two areas. Um, because these are the only two areas I, I, ha I have locked, right? And like once you... I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but I'll do it in just a second. But like once you like get fate or take out a fate, you get these currents, this currency called bicolored gems. Y'all probably already know all this, but... See, you get these bicolored gemstones and you use them to buy stuff. And I made a ton of money. Well, maybe not a ton of money. Maybe like two mil gil for basically selling like alpaca filet. Oh my god. But these are like materials you use to like make food. High quality food. But anyways, I bought a ton of this and I made like two million, two million gil maybe? And I also got the writing map. I don't want that. And then this is how you get the alpaca minion. Yeah, but anyways, you have to like unlock different level tiers of the fates in the area to be able to get like that stuff. So that's why I'm rank four. Basically mean I did nothing and just killed, did fates. Fates are these things on the map. But yeah. Anyways, that's what I did that this week. So I'm not actually level 90. I am 96, but I'm not 96 story quests. I'm 91. Okay, there we go. Let me update my title. Um, level 91 MSQ. Leveling Scholar. There we go. Alright, I changed my title. Hopefully that'll be good. Level 91 MSQ. I know I'm level 96. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's do a main story quest today. <laughs> Yay! Okay, last time, last things I did in the game. Obviously, we got the Tuliolo. Um, and I, we did, we got the two, we got two keystones. We got a keystone from Pelu Pelu. Where we had to identify the the conductor or whatever they're called. Not a conductor, but whatever. And then we also had to catch an alpaca. Or she did. And then um, we also did the Vahanuhumaha? Or Hanu Hanu. Hanu Hanu, the, the parakeet looking people. <laughs> Kinda. 
Um, they're very colorful. And we had to help their festival. Or we had to figure out a way to make their reeds not be dead. So. Anyways, so we have two. That's where we left off. And then now that I'm done with that, now we're here. I love the jazz music. I didn't know, she didn't get the gold, no, she didn't get the gold alpaca, gosh darn it. By the way, can y'all let me know if the volume's okay? I think it's okay, but just let me know. All right, um, here we go, lots of mispronunciations today. Hopefully not, but we'll see. The success of others. The success of others. We've now won keystones from both the feet of reeds and the feet of gold. Surely that means our approach to the contest was the right one. So far. Have two. What is it? Two out of seven? I can't remember how many. So it would seem by continuing to retrace Gulujaja's journey as presented in the saga, we should find the remaining electors in turn. Right, electors is what they're called. Um, sorry, one second. All right, then let's visit the giants next. Like Kryle said, the fact that they were searching for the Golden City might mean they know something useful. Uh, giants next? Wait, who are the giants? Okay, sorry, my sister sent me something. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so that's our main goal is finding the Golden City. I keep forgetting. <laughs> The key, or the home, the home of the Yaqui is in, oh, Yaqui are the giants. Yaqui are the people that were, like, dominating the Pelu Pelu and, I guess, other people, too, right? But then they were like, uh, yeet, we're out, right? I'm getting that correct? Those are the people that were, like, in control, but then they were like, nah, I'm out, bye, right? FN? People, Rhea? <laughs> Who know, who's playing this story? Homiyaki is in the upper reaches of Urukakache. Uh, unless you're keen on scaling the cliffs, we'll have to take the long way around through Koza, Kozamauka. This route will take us close to the Moblin Village, which is another important location in the saga. Since we'll need all the keystones eventually, it makes sense to pay them a visit while we're passing through. So we're going to go to the Moblins first. Okay, so we call on the Moblins first. Let's head there right now. I'm afraid right now is going to be a problem. What? Why? Yes, I'm right. Okay. Hi, Slam Dunk. <gasps> what happened? The flight of the wee wingless, the great stairs leading to the Moblin sediment, collapsed in the storm. What are we to do then? Fly. <laughs> Uh, there is an alternative, but it requires preparation. Until it's ready, you could rest in the cabins or see more of the city, whatever you prefer. Uh, don't make me wait more. Just to be sure, you'll accept any method of travel as long as it gets us to our destination. Of course. Uh, what do you take me for? Hmm, then as your guide, I will see to the arrangements. Are we going to hot air balloon it? That would be cool. Well, it seems we have some free time on our hands. Or what are they called? Dirigibles. The dirigibles. Let us make the most of it. Or unless we're going to ride an alpaca. Maybe we can ride an alpaca. Hope you've been enjoying Dawn Trail. I have. I love it. <laughs> uh, I need to get my axe repaired. I knit. I nicked the blade pretty badly when I took a swing at Bakul Jaja. Uh, that reminds me, I never got around to introducing you to Ropoli. Ropoli. Or Ropoli. Ropoli. Ropoli? Ropoli. Did I? He's the man in charge of Wachumikiki. <laughs> what? What? Wachumikiki. Wachumikiki. And a good person to know. Want to come along? I like it. It's like, Wachu. Wachumikiki. There's another thing that's like, Wachu. Wachu something. Let's go then. Well, all those are small. Just yeet them over. But then what about everybody else? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's go meet Ropley. Ropley. Ready? The markets of Wachu and Mikimi Miki are to the east on the other side of Bayside Bay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, it's this kind of quest. Okay. All right. Follow me. Where am I going? Oh, here, here, here. Okay. Let's go this way. Their fault for not being lawless. This is true. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, look at this guy. Nice. Every time I'm like running, I always like to hide my UI because I'm like, ooh, immersion. But then I also don't know where I'm going. Okay. Oh, over here. Discuss Aunt T's tacos. This is Aunt T's tacos named for its owner here, the lovely T Soul. Oh, tacos. If you're after the best tacos in Tuliol, this place sits at the top of X. I can't say that restaurant name. You say that, third promise, but you only ever eat old Bru Brooks Uvu's food. Come and buy my <laughs> come and buy mine for a change. Sorry, T Soul, it's been a while, hasn't it? I swear I'll stop for a bite once the contest is over. Wait, I want to buy a taco. You're a liar! Liar! <laughs> I can't buy a taco! Okay. Fine. Freaking fine. Alright. Wobbly. You have one cute minion. Thanks. When another person has the alpaca minion, they like stare at each other. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Where am I going? <laughs> yeah, they do now, Unique. They do now. Tacos exist now. My, my. The third promise. How might I assist you this fine morning? Well met, Rovely. I need to buff a nasty nick out of my axe blade. <sighs> yes, it's been chipped quite terribly. Trying to cleave rocks again, were we? Uh, something like that. Think you can fix it? You stand among Toral's most prestigious gatherings of artisan, gathering of artisans and ask this question? Tis child's play. We'll have it repaired for you in two shakes of an alpaca's tail. Good to hear. I leave it in your capable hands. Two shakes of an alpaca's tail. Who's your companion, if I may ask? This is Miss, a great adventurer I recruited from across the salt. I brought her here to meet you, actually. I thought she might have reason to visit Wachu Miki Miki sooner or later. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Ropley, humble representative of this grand center of trade. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you there, stop dithering in the shadows and announce your business already. Who, what? Who? <gasps> Who's this? Hmm, I've seen that man somewhere before. <clears throat> oh. Oh, was he on the boat? Oh yeah, he was on the boat. That was one of the guys we spoke to. <laughs> right. Oh, they do, Rhea? <clears throat> a, jewel, a jewelry maker you met on the voyage over? Oh, I remember. I spoke with him, too. Fongentane? Yes, that that was his name. <clears throat> You've been loitering like a flighty admirer who can't pluck up the courage to confess his feelings. Out with it, then. Why are you here? I, uh, that is to say... Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> uh, we we're no closer to solving that enigma. Hmm, I wonder if he could use someone to talk to. I say we go and ask. Let me know by Link Pearl if you find him first. What the heck? Now we're gonna go after the poor guy? What if he's just embarrassed and he's shy? What? <laughs> okay. You can't be introverted here. 
Okay, where is he? Oh, I have to go and search for him. Okay, unique. Thanks. Did I get both of those minions, Rhea? I can't remember. Garnet. Oh, I did. What uh, Final Fantasy are they from again? Nine? Nine? Okay. Okay, I gotta find the guy with the green hair. Or kind of green hair. Oh, did he go in the restaurant? Are you in here, sir? It's not... Can't play hide and seek with me! Where are you? Is he, like, actually gonna be hiding? <clears throat> am I still in the circle? Oh, I am. What the heck? Where did he go? Is he in the water? Oh, there he is. I found him. Can I, from me? You were conversing with Master Ropley, but wait, we've met before, haven't we, on the ship? Hi, Vic! I'm finally playing! You found him? Good, I'll be right there. Why did you run off like that? Did you have business with Ropley or not? Dang, confrontation. Please, you needn't concern yourselves with my affairs. I'm undeserving of such attention. Huh? What are you going on about? Oh, no. I beg of you, do not ask me to explain. Do not. Sorry, but the more you tell me not to, the more curious I become. Besides, you look like you need a friend. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. So be it. I suppose I can share with you a morsel of my misery. A morsel? Before I came to Tulio, I worked as a goldsmith at the most prestigious jewelry maker in all of Ulda. Eshtimis? Eshtimis? Aesthetics. Oh, it started off well enough, but as the days passed, everything began to go wrong. I don't remember this place. <laughs> An old, uh... Compared to the masterpieces of my talented colleagues, my products were lacking. Mediocre. I lost all confidence, crippling doubt it had possessed me, and any veneer of bravado I tried to put forth soon cracked beneath its weight. Thus did I take ship, hoping to find a fresh beginning on new shores. Yet, as you witness, I lack the courage to even approach a potential employer. You stand before a man wallowing the wreckage of his ill-spent existence. <laughs> She's like, oh. Uh, alright then. You offered a morsel, then served us the full course. <laughs> You must have really wanted someone to hear your story. If you like, I could try to give you a few words of advice. Then, you have experience with my predicament? Of feeling terribly inadequate compared to your undeniably superior peers? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, I, uh... Her brother. First promise. Second promise. All the promises. Ah, uh, not me. I'm welcome at third promise of Tulio. Oh no, she's not being honest. Ah! Daughter of the Dawn Servant. Oh, of course. You're a member of the royal family. Please forgive my presumptuousness. But what of you? Have you ever measured your work against that of your colleagues and found yourself wanting? Everybody has. On occasion? Oh my gosh. You can't measure your worth by the success of others. Oh, hit him with that. That. <laughs> how, how can I not? 
Should my work not meet the same exacting standards, no new commissions will be forthcoming. What then was the point of my becoming a goldsmith? The love of making jewelry. Hmm, looking back, it was my father who inspired me to take up his, the trade. His ex exquisite creations brought radiant smiles to the faces of his clients, and I admired him deeply for it. But in the course of striving to be as good, as great a goldsmith as him, I lost sight of my original motivation. All I ever wanted was to spread joy through my craft as he did. That's sweet. Oh, we're learning life lessons, chat. Don't compare yourself to others. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps I will give this one last try. Thank you both for reminding me of what is truly important. <clears throat> Yay. See, Wakumat, you can be, you can show your weakness. What is truly important? Oh, she's learning. She's a learning. Oh, it was so solemn. Okay, all right. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. But yes, I'm glad to see Fun Jatane is giving himself another chance. What is that? Mezcal marinated swamp monk. Hmm. Interesting. What's a swamp monk? Swamp monkey? For all trolley. Oh, here we go. I can't help but wonder if Fontaine, Fun John Tane will follow through. Let's see if he's actually gone to talk with Ropley. Let's go. Wait. There's an Aetherite. Maybe it's faster if I go to the Aetherite? Zoom! Okay. Uh, yes. Watch you, Maki Maki. He is talking to her. So it's kind of you to come, but you needn't worry. I found my courage. Pray accept my apologies for my earlier behavior. My name is Fon Jontain and I am a goldsmith from Ulda and far away, Orzia. I realize this is a bold request, but I should like to continue practicing my trade here and watch you Mickey Mickey. If you will have me, I ask only for the opportunity to bring happiness to others with my creations. So that's what it was about. You were looking for work. Consider yourself hired. Watch you, Maki Maki, is always in need of skilled craftsmen and women. I'll handle the necessary paperwork. Paperwork. Can you start tomorrow? That was easy. Man, can you imagine? What if job searching was like that? Just show up and they're like, yeah, I'll start the paperwork right now. That'd be great. Yes. Yes, of course. You don't even have to show a resume or proof. That is a goldsmith. <laughs> Just, hi, I'd like to work. Okay. <laughs> I must thank you both again for your sage and timely advice. I don't know that I was all that helpful. But you were. Had you not come to speak with me, I would have not have had the moment of much needed self-reflection. The arrangements have been made. Come and meet me at the entrance of High Tide Harbor. Are we going on a boat? I wish. I know, right? Oh, I almost forgot. Do, do you have my axe ready, roughly? Ready and waiting. Behold the sublime touch of a Wachu Miki Miki artisan. Oh, it's as sharp and deadly as the first day I held it. Thank you. Well, good luck to you, Fon Jontain. Let me know if that doubt creeps back in. I'd be happy to talk you out of it. 
Cute. As for us, we should head for the harbor. It wouldn't want to keep Aaronville waiting. <clears throat> Alright, where's the harbor? <clears throat> where's the harbor? Where? What? Oh, here. Oh, in the middle? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Jumping over people! Oh, barely can make it. <laughs> oh, here. Here? What are we gonna use? This music is too good. It is. Makes me so happy. Oh, we're gonna take a boat! Enough with the secrecy. What's the big plan of yours? She's gonna get seasick, I guess. I love when the drums kick in, yeah. Look there, that is my big plan. Oh, it's the boat. Whoa, <gasps> what? What is that? Yeah, what is that? It's a manatee? It's a, oh, punity. Or punuti. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall we be pulling our boat up river? The heck? How do we know she won't thrash about and sink us instead? They're gentle and timid creatures, for the most part. She's likely to cause a fuss unless you give her reason to. A punity. Is that how I say it? Is that how y'all say it? First, alpacas, now punities. We're relying a lot on animals for this journey. So, we should be thankful we have an ex an animal expert as our guide then. Punity. Punity. But did it have to be my old nemesis, another boat? Well, I took you for someone who was up to the challenge, was I wrong? Ugh. <laughs> long ago, <clears throat> long ago when fighting still raged between the clans, inhabitants of Kozamauka rode these riverboats to move swiftly through hostile territory. But the vessels see a little use with Tural now at peace, so I was able to borrow one of the few which remain. Oh. I did discover, I did consider a dirigible, but the pilots warned me that the updrafts near the falls would make landing difficult. Um, that's a, what I was assuming we were gonna go in. You said you borrowed one, yet there appear to be several in the water. Kwana. Hi, Orca. Lamati, traveling up the river, I presume. Seems that way. Does this mean you've earned two keystones already? I can't believe how well you've managed despite undertaking the contest alone. Oh, what was that? I was never alone. I've had my own entourage with me since the beginning. What? What? Thank credit, Uriange. What are you doing here? Oh, that's... Oh, it's all coming together now. Escorting a promise, the same as you. Bro! They've been... they Competition! Oh, this is what they were talking about! Oh, I've heard much... Of the, oh my god. Copycat. Literally. I've heard much of the incomparable Archons during my time at the studio. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I thought, who better to recruit to my cause? I contacted the, scol the scholar who arranged an introduction to these two gentlemen. Oh my god. Oh. Darn it. All right. The second promise had specific requirements. They who would be his assistants must boast 
both proven survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Thus did Thancred and I receive the summons. Okay, I guess that makes sense. My own studies concentrated on technology which our people could readily use, such as innovations born of Magitech or clever engineering. Where magic was concerned, I covered only the foundation. Why did they show it? They showed them. They waited until now? What the heck? Knowing you two, I expect you had other reasons for accepting the job. A few. The nation of Tuliol spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into instability once more. Ever have we striven uh, to preserve peace. Where is our place if not here and now? But well, we're trying to restore peace. <laughs> We did our due diligence, of course, and made sure of who we were working with before agreeing to this, agreeing to this endeavor. He's more, he's even more opaque than Orion J at times, but is surprisingly... That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. Surprisingly what? No, you have to tell me. Was I supposed to understand that? I didn't understand that. Surprisingly what? Hmm. How we get stuck with the twins and Cryo. At least she's a DPS now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I like Cryo. <laughs> what the heck? And they get me. Who wouldn't want me on their team? <laughs> she has a paintbrush now. Wait, I have one question before you leave. Kuana and Wokulama are vying for the throne. As Kuana's entourage, does that mean you've resolved to defeat all his opponents, including us? We're sworn to do all in our power to win this contest for, for Kuana, even if it means competing against our own comrades. We intend to hold nothing back and expect you to do the same. Dang, and we won't disappoint you. I was wondering why he was traveling alone. They wasn't. He did have friends. Ah, our friends. I thought you were taking a boat. If even you have been forced to travel on water, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk that walk than risk confrontation on a leaky barge with no possibility of retreat. Oh. Okay. It's true that I can't stand boats. But I trust the route Anvil has chosen for us. Aw. He liked that. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Leave the handling of the punity to me. Should other wildlife attack us, however, I may have difficulty keeping her under control. Do your best to draw them away as far from the front of the boat as possible. Wait, is this a dungeon? Or... Is this a dungeon? Then we shall remain on deck and stand guard, although it may be wise to have at least one of us sit up front with Aaron Bell just in case. <gasps> Please tell me, is this a dungeon? I'd like to say on the deck, I'm eager to put my pictomancy to the proof. And I'll take any chance to show you that I can hold my own on the battlefield. Okay, Cryo. We believe you. Then Cryo will stand on guard with Miss. Yeah, we got this, Cryo. Lollofell, unite! I'll keep Aaronville company then. With my blade, I can respond more quickly to threats than Alphano. Thank you. If a fight breaks out, I'll try to stay out of your way. Heck yeah, this is a this is a dungeon. This is a dungeon. I finally get the dungeon. Then I shall endeavor to provide aid where it is needed. I can do that as well. That was my first dungeon! That should cover more, most eventualities. Secure your gear and board the boat when you're ready. It's a boat dungeon? Is it like Bismarck? Oh my god! My first dungeon! Oh. Uh oh. Gee hee 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 hee. Um, gee hee 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 hee. That makes more sense. Let the hunt begin! <laughs> First dungeon at level 96. Da oh. Ehu Who wants to do Ehu 
next to move with me. Oh my god! Yay! My first dungeon! Oh, freaking ad started playing. Uh, who? 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 Um, oh no. I am. Oh no. <laughs> no! No! What do I. What? No, my coffers? I did open my coffers. Did I not put one on? Hold on, maybe maybe one accidentally got removed or something. Uh What am I missing? Maybe it's maybe it's an earring. I only need one more point. What the heck? Did I equip them? Yeah. I think I equipped them all. I didn't ha I didn't get pants, did I? Did I get pants? Hold on. No, I didn't get pants. How many tomes do you have? Uh I have two thousand poetics. Uh one point five K casual casualty and casualty, cas whatever. And comedy. Okay, I can do poetics. Okay, okay, okay. Where do I go? Radzahan? Spin your poetics? Okay. <laughs> Darn it, I can just need one more point. Um, Radzahan. Okay. Alright, hold that thought. I am like so popular today. Freaking so many people are texting me. Stop it. Stop it. I need to do the main story quest. Are you gonna do the dungeon with me? You don't know, but you already know how to do it, Todd. Where do I go? Ooh, Todd, Effin, and Rhea. <laughs> okay. All right, where do I go? We can play dumb and die a lot. Okay. Sounds good to me. You ain't getting blind people anyways at this point. If you want me to follow you, I will. Okay. Okay. Oh, sc oh, no, that's script exchange. Other side? Oh, other side. Follow the Dorito. The Dorito will be me. <laughs> You're gonna die. Gear exchange? Tombstone exchange? Uh, do I want a weapon? What do I want to spend my poetics? No, this... Oh, wait, this is item level 660. Okay, yeah, maybe I should. Oh, get accessories? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, which one's the accessories? This one? This one? This one? Do I get any? Well, I guess any would be good. Oh yeah, any would be good because all of these are item level 610. Oh. Okay, I'll get some earrings. Okay, I'm at 6.33 now. Update. Okay, I'm uh, ready. Let me go back to Tuliolo. You may as well buy more. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, okay, so I got... I got the earrings, necklace, bracelet... I have a ring. I can only buy one ring, right? Oh, I can buy two rings? They're not unique anymore? Okay.
Okay. 650! Okay, I'll sort my other stuff later. Alright, is there anything else I need to get here? Oh wait, what am I doing? Hold on! Hold on, I wanna go back to Tuliolo first. It's dumb that it's unique in the first place. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. <gasps> Are we ready to the first dungeon? Ufui Katumu. Katumu. Current expansion gear has unique on it and current tier. I think it loses unique in new tiers. Okay. What's oh, Todd? Whee! All right. <gasps> Boat dungeon time! Boat dungeon time! All right, give me a bit. I'm not gonna know what the heck is going on, so forgive me. Obviously, do your tank things. Do your DPS things. I'm not gonna look at y'all though. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure it out myself. Well, it's probably gonna be really hard to not look. But I am an Excalibur. Yeah, you're more than welcome to join. Wow, look at the boat. Oh wait, who? Oh wait. Oh no, it's Baku Jaja. Wait, what do they have on the boat? <gasps> this is exciting. Oh my god. This is my finally, finally my first dungeon. Finally. Well, what's going on? There, there was a boat like ours up ahead. Could it... Be Jaral Jaja or gods? Is it Bakul Jaja? Forget who else is on the river right now. We have company. So much for a tranquil boat ride. Never. Never will there be. Oh, FN is the tank. Oh, FN is the tank. Good luck, FN. <laughs> Wee. Ooh, this is cool. Look at it. Ooh. Ooh, I like this skill, Rhea. Ooh. Look at it! We're in a swamp! It's like a riverboat. Riverboat. They're being attacked. Alice, say, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. What is that? Little catfish? Kill the catfish! Wait, this is so cool! This is such a unique dungeon! Kind of, well, yeah, right? We've done a dungeon like this. Kind of like Bismarck, I guess. <laughs> Sir Void is my IGN. Uh, I forgot how to add people into the guild. <laughs> it's been a while. I obviously can't do it now, but I'll, I'll figure it out after this dungeon. So you get a hammer? That's cool. I actually haven't really been paying attention to Pictomancer skills. Okay, what well now? We're in for some rain, it seems. I like how the music is so happy. Oh, I'm a Dorito. This is Bakul Jaja ahead of us. We're ready for anything. We're gonna crash. Oh no. Yes, come closer. We have something for you. A, a gift courtesy of my blessed siblings. <gasps> Rhinos! He was waiting for us. How dare Olaf the Moogle. Oh wait, I need, don't die. <laughs> I love my new skill. Have I gotten other new skills? I haven't been paying attention when I was leveling up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wrong one. We did it! Suck it, but cool, Jaja! -ja. Gah! This is not going to plan. We'll have- we'll just have to improvise. These things go so fast, it makes me so- Oh no! <gasps> not our punity! See you a braver if you have if you can make it that far. Not the punity! Crippling our boat was a cowardly move. Yeah, it was. Ooh, look at the waterfall. Anvil, we're losing speed! I can't command the punity like this! Ow. The harness is broken! I'm sorry, but we have to pull over to the bank. Oh no, we crashed. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, now we're on dry land now? Ooh, the immersion. See if there's a route over land. We'll try to catch up to you later. Oh my god, this is so cool. You have to amend this damage. If you could help me, Alice, of course. Whatever you need. Oh, <gasps> it's a big punity. Oh, look, it's our first boss. All right, let's do this thing. Why do we have to attack this creature? I thought they were timid and shy and nice. Oh, ow. Okay, prime punity. All right, what do we got going on over here? Oh no, what is he doing? What are you doing over there? Oh, okay. Dodge. <laughs> oh, 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 he's, he's a sucker. Okay, all right, he sucks. Oh, and he spits. Okay. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. No, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Wow, a big spitter. <laughs> Jeez. Ah! Okay. All right, we're good. Good dodging. Good dodging, guys. Way to follow the Dorito. <laughs> this is cool. All right. Oh, he's by babies, babies. Oh, oh no. Okay. I this is attached. Okay, get as far away from your baby as possible. Okay. Yeah, like that. That wasn't so bad. I did get a vuln stack though. Hmm. All right. Kill the biggest baby. Oh. And then M. Or wait, that's fine too. <laughs> Shore shaker? Oh. Oh, okay, you gotta be patient. Alright, he's gonna do that one, and then this one, and then the outer one. Yeah, okay. Easy. <laughs> oh no. Ah! Okay. Alright, I probably should have waited to give y'all expedient. Uh, until the next part, but, um, it's okay. I wonder, all right, okay, all right. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I don't know where to go. Oh my God, oh my God, over here. Holy cow. <laughs> all right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> the heck? That's so chaotic. Is there like a a known spot to stand when that chaos ensues? Are you literally just running around? There's gotta be, cause like, how else are you doing damage? Oh my god, we did it! We did it! Quick, okay, okay, treasure coffer, give me something good. You suck. Well, that was fun. Hi, Roll. I want my free bonus tomes. Do I give you bonus tomes? Oh, Todd, Todd's the, technically Todd's the leader of the guild. <laughs> Mother. So oh, maybe I should just say Jones. <laughs> yeah, Todd can get you in the guild. I, pay, I picked up Sage and it's my first time healing, having so much fun. Oh, yay, I'm glad you are. 
I tried Sage. I'm a, I'm a, I only like playing Scholar though, but I'm happy we have another healer amongst the ranks. Welcome. I'm in, I'm on Excalibur on the Primal Data Center. Todd is queen. <laughs> Todd is queen. I think anyone can technically. Oh, okay. Well, who better to invite people than the queen? I like, I like this area. Look at the waterfall on the inside. Just take, stop a minute, take a look at the scenery, guys. Ah, okay, enough of that. All right, ooh, what is this? Oh, I, oh my God, I'm a spider monkey. Wow, I, I man, that's, a, that's fast. What strange happenstance hath some misfortune befallen thy vessel? Apologies, friends. It seems you'll be taking the long way around. Wait, why is Urian J? Wait, what are they doing here? Is this their boat? Wait, what was that? Wait, what? Where? I'm so confused. Is this their boat? They blew up a wall? Oh, shoot. Okay, I leave? Okay. They blew up a wall. Why they blow up a wall? Oh, look it. Oh, look it. They're so colorful. You go ahead. You're the tank. What? What? It's Rhea. <laughs> Rhea. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, is that also Todd and... Wait, what the heck? <laughs> what is that? Mimi Claude? The heck? What in the world? Wow, kill Rhea! And Todd and Evan? Yeah, get him. <laughs> they gave you the small red one since you're extra small. <laughs> really? Wait, that's funny. Hi, Sarkozy. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, it's hard for me. If, if, if I want to keep them alive, it's hard for me to read chat and this. Kylie's enjoying killing us a little too much. <laughs> so wait, why'd they blow up a wall? Oh, Orion's J and Thancred blocked us off. Oh, they did it on purpose? It's okay. All right, I'll lead, I'll lead. I'll lead. <gasps> What's that? It looks so cute. We have to kill it though. Aw. Look, he's... Oh, it's called a drowsy. It's like a Pokemon. All right. Drowsy's Grotto. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm assuming he's gonna put us to sleep. <laughs> Uppercut. Dodge the uppercut. Or tank it. Tank the uppercut. Okay, he's probably gonna do an AoE. Sa so, sow. So, sow? Oh, he's sowing the seeds that are gonna eventually kill us. Alright. I don't know where they drop, but. Oh, 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 there they are. Oh, he dances! And. What? Oh my god. Wait, what the heck? Uh, okay, these go that way. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Got it. So they point in a certain direction, and you gotta... Drowsy Dance invigorates the roots. Oh god, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. This area was perfect. Look at that. Oh gosh. Run! <laughs> he dances and he makes the grass grow. <laughs> That's cute. Or I guess the vines grow, whatever those were. He's spitting! Oh! He's like, he's like the, the punity. Spit. Oh. Oh, those are the mimi thingies that we just saw. Okay, well, I... Interesting. Oh, look. I'm a mimi clot. Alright, kill the ads! Why are they all attacking me? Frickin get away. Oh wait, Rhea has a purple thing. Oh god, I do too. 
Okay, I'm gonna stand over here far away from you all. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, good. Good job with the ads. Nice. I love this skill. Rhea, what is that skill? That's so pretty. I always do that a little too late, but at least we have expedient. I love it. Look at that. It makes flowers and butterflies. What the heck? Ooh, ooh, F in. Okay. There you go. I gave you X cog. Probably didn't need it. Need to, but whatever. Alright, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna. Okay, the seats. Alright. Why did I get that? Oh, shoot. Okay, well, the seeds are gonna be planted again. Oh my god, the change of music is so funny. Okay, it looks like I'm okay here. Follow the Dorito! Except FN, you have to tank. Alright, he's they're getting bigger. So just scoot over a little. Oh no, they're, he's dead. Woo! We did it! We did it! Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, is this better than what I have on? No, wait, I got something. I already got something, but well, I'll get it anyways. I'll give it to my retainer. All right, let's go up. Just don't heal them. No, just talk to chat and let them die. <laughs> Jai, thank you for the 40 stream streak. <gasps> wow, look at rainbow. Look at the rainbow! Wait, this is so pretty! Okay, all right, let's keep going. All right, ooh, this is pretty too! Look at it! Look at the foliage! Okay, you go up ahead. Tomaton? The heck? What the heck are... What the heck? Hello. Ooh, big alligator. I love this skill. Oh. I like this area. So wait, this area, is it the same area as the Pelu Pelu or is it the Vanu Hanu people? Hanu Hanu people. Is it the same map? I think it's... I don't know, actually. Well, no, the Pelu Pelu people is like desert, but this is off a cliff. So I'm guessing it's the Hanu Hanu people, because it has so many waterfalls. <gasps> a bug! Vana Jr. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh! Whoa, he already, oh, he took out some trees. He was feeding. Okay, I'm guessing that's the boss. Little preview, little preview, little snapshot. Little snack, oh gosh, ow. That, oh my God, that actually did damage. <laughs> Ow. Die, you fools. So, chat, how are you doing? What are y'all doing? This dungeon's so much fun. It's fun, yeah. I'm so happy I have friends that'll let me tell them what to do in like a good way so that I can experience the dungeon like the right way instead of being told I'm stupid. Not that I think that would happen, but you never know. Oh, I already have this? Oh, did I? Okay. Oh, is this the boss? Oh, it's the boss! It's the boss! We made it. Oh, he's eating. See, it's Ravana's baby. Lavana. Oh, Apollon. Ap 
Polyon? Polyon. Whoa. It's a praying mantis. That looks so cool. <laughs> this is what I thought praying mantises looked like when I was younger. All right. Cool. Mutated. Wow, look at the... Look! Rainbow! Okay. All right, I'm ready. A Polyon. Am I ready, though? We'll find out. Okay, hold on. Let me give us a shield. Razor Zephyr. Oh, okay. Ouch. Sounded like it would hurt. Breath catch is sealed off. Blade. Okay. Oh. Oh. They emerge to defend the territory. Okay. Oh, okay. They try to defend. Oh, they're attacking the boss with us? Hey! Join us! High wind. Okay. Oh, okay. There's the AoE. Wow. Oh my god. He's eating them. Oh no! Is he healing? Feeding on the beast has strengthened him? His wing, wing beats? Oh, great. Fantastic. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! Holy... Oh! <laughs> How many times does he do this? Let's find out. Oh, two times? Okay, okay. I'll give y'all expedient next time. <laughs> oh, what's this? Levin sickle? Okay. All right, there's four of them. Oh, purple? What the? And a green? Oh, God. Uh, what? Okay, okay, I see. You just gotta get out of it. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Sandworms? No, not the sandworms! He's gonna eat them and get strong! No! Go away! Can we kill the sandworms? No, we can't. High wind. Look at that. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to click that button. Oh, wait, his scything forearms? Wait, what? Strengthen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Rosa! Hello! Thank you so much for 27 months! Okay, what is this? Wind whistle? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, it's a tornado. Is it keep getting bigger? Oh, it moves. Oh, it moves. Wait, it's gonna move us. Oh no, it's coming this way. Oh God. Oh, ow. Oh no, that's, oh, that's the direction it's shooting. It's, oh, okay. Oh my God. Ow, 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 ow. No! I got zapped! I couldn't heal myself fast enough. Wait, how am I supposed to dodge that? Want me to die or finish? Uh, You can finish. You can finish. You can finish. It's okay. I think I've seen the whole fight. That's confusing. Hi! Hi, Kevin! Hi, Speggy. I recently started playing 14, and finally, after years of the game not clicking with me, I'm finally hooked. Yay! That makes me so happy. I love it when people love the same games that I'm playing. <laughs> well, and the same games that I love, for good reason. I haven't played... Okay, hold on. I want to pay attention to this. Do you stand in this? I couldn't see that. Hold on. Where do you stand? Where does it... So it shoots out. Oh, I see. You have to look for, oh, I get it now. I get it now. So you have to look for these, these little triangles. Got it. Yay. Praying Mantis down. That was, that was a lot. Ugh, this stupid electricity thing got me. 
Yay! That was a fun dungeon! <laughs> By Alice's <laughs> alert air. Can y'all revive me? Ooh. Oh, it's machinist. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, do I have to return? Okay. Oh, I just return here. Oh, never mind. Duh. I'm only at the beginning of Heaven Sword, so I have plenty to work through. Oh my god. I hope you love it. Heaven Sword's one that gets really good. Shut up, Zang. <laughs> Ooh. I actually didn't get to look at y'all's characters. Okay, fancy pants, rich McGee over here. All right, all right. <laughs> what do I do now? Leave? But it's so pretty. Look, let's take a pi No, don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave! Let's take a picture. Come here. Come here, under the rainbow. <laughs> Wait, get a little bit further back. And sit down, because I'm short. There you go. There you go, perfect. Oh, perfect. Alright, pose! Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, perfect. Cute! Alright, this is not how you're supposed to take screenshots. This is how I take screenshots. Oh, no, I did it wrong. Alright, I got it. <laughs> Yay! Wait, I'm gonna do another one. Hold on, stay there. Don't move. Stop sweeping. It's not dirty. <laughs> Wait, oh no. Oh no. What was that sound? Okay. Wait, no, keep posing. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. Pose. Do a pose. Just boss him around. I, in a nice way. There we go. There. Alright, last one. Okay. Alright, done. Save. Death pop. What? There we go. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yay! Yay us! <laughs> He's cleaning the bug juice off the dirt. <laughs> it's literally dirt. <laughs> It's just sweeping up your sweat spot. Ew! Yay, thanks guys. Alright. Moving on. That was fun. That was a cute dungeon. Uh, I liked it. It was cute. I liked it a lot. That was 10 out of 10. Ooh. This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. Fungeons. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. Is it too quiet, chat? Do I need to turn it up? Oh. <gasps> they fixed it! Hey! Everyone alright? Cute! Yay! I missed the first dungeon. No, Josh! Hopefully I can cover the next one. Will I get to it? <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I was worried we might not catch up to you. Those caverns you traverse were dug by the Yaqui in their search for gold. Remnants of their excavations can be found throughout this region. <laughs> well, I appreciate the lesson. Oh, wise guide. We are oh, landing this boat anytime soon. Our river journey is almost over. For proof of that, you need only look ahead. It's raining. Wait, are we gonna go up that waterfall? No, the falls were impressive enough for a distance, but it's almost too much now. Okay, yeah, no way. <laughs> Just swim! <laughs> yes, amazing! Now please let me off! We 
We made it to the Moblin Moblina Nana. I don't know what this area is called, I forgot. No, no more boats. <laughs> We need to get her some, uh, what does drama mean? Are you, oh, you're not all right. Like the little pat, what are those things, the things they put behind your ears? They give them to you when you go on cruises, if you get seasick. The skill you liked is Picto's landscape, painting, starry muse, it's buff area, and doing spells in it lets us do another attack. <gasps> oh, so I need to stand in it, because it gives me buffs, or it gives you buffs? <laughs> JJ! Mobly and nya nya nya! <laughs> what gives me on transportation? <laughs> I should be surprised if she was. Even without the nausea, we're all spent. There is a mountain shelter nearby, a resting spot for those who have ascended the stairs. I suggest we make use of it. That would be a well, welcome respite. Have you the strength for a short walk, Wakumet? We can rest along the way too. She's gonna be like, I'm fine. Dang it all. Oh, never mind. A promise is meant to lead from the front, not mule and moan like a sick kitten. <gasps> no, she's being herself up. Let me turn that up. What well, Lamat? Lama. Lame. I'll turn it up just a little bit, chat. Let me know if it's too loud. Ignore me. It's the nausea talking. I'm fine, really. Lead on. I'll follow. Aww. Very well. But if I might say one thing. Just because you're a promise or a claimant for the throne doesn't mean you can't be seen to struggle. You needn't bear this burden alone, so please don't hesitate to talk to us. We're always willing to lend an ear. Oh, my heart. It's so cute. Coming from Cryo. She's like, what? But Cryo, I... Aww. Leaning on others is a skill all leaders require. Everyone's allowed to be weak sometimes. I like that. <sighs> Cute. <laughs> you as well? Of course. I've always believed this is my problem alone, but perhaps you have the right of it. Adorable. All right, I'll talk about things. Uh, just give me a moment to collect my thoughts. Of course, as long as you need. We'll be waiting at the shelter when you're ready. Yay! Friendship! Hi, Shiv! It gives everyone a 5% damage bo boost, but Picto also gets faster casting and an extra spell. But I have to be standing in the pretty green grass area, right? <laughs> Where are you, Vic? <laughs> you did good. I've long felt that I could never tell anyone when I was confused or hurting that admitting to weakness would bring shame to Papa's name. But if you're, but if you say you're willing to listen, then there are things I'd like to talk about. Come on, let's catch up to the others. <laughs> Welcome! We have new person in the guild! Uh, yay! Welcome! Wait, what is this area? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so this was the... Okay, this is the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Fields of gold. Yeah, this is the Hanu Hanu area. Okay. Oh, Tuliol from here. Okay. Got it, okay. Exercising our artistic freedom. <laughs> Ooh. 
raining here. She can finally get more aether cards. Yeah. <laughs> finally. Gotta find them though. But I'll do that tonight. <laughs> I still just YOLO mostly. I don't know what the actual rotation is meant to me. Hammer go bonk is just fun. I like the hammer. I like how it looks. It looks very squishy. Well, this area is nice. Stay right. Let me a tune. A tune. A tune. Oh, there. Okay. All right. It's raining here. Well, that was your armor now. Forty something. We should stop here for the night. I understand the desire to rush ahead, but we need to recuperate from our punishing river adventure. Then let's settle in. We'll need a cook fire and there's a meal, there's meal preparation to be done. I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Serpent? I was but a boy was at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. Ball of fuzz. <laughs> All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. Ikbrash? That's how you say that? Ikbrash. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather. And he was all I needed. Aww. So our situations were quite similar. I didn't know she didn't know her parents. I must have forgot about that. Hi, Madrona. Good morning. Even though Papa already had the trueborn son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. Aww. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready Aww. for a scolding but the head of resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal <laughs> i did get my lecture from the head of reason though he went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways i could have died <laughs> it's literally good cop bad cop <laughs> in one body growing up papa was kind and patient but a tyrant when it came to training now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life. Yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. Aww. I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. I'm not fit to bear my title. Look at my big cup. <laughs> It's always like this in the cutscenes, and I always, even, I know this is a sad, kind of depressing moment, but like, look at this. Look at it. I literally can bathe in that. Yeah, I can bathe in it. Uh, it looks like a hot tub. Okay. You can't measure your worth by the success of others. We said that already. Maybe I should have done the other one. Don't compare myself to my siblings, you mean? Yeah. Hmm. 
I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali, and what I can do for them. You... You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. That's so cute! I'm sorry, everyone. This music is so I've been good. A fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. I will find a city of gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Kryl. I swear. I appreciate it, Look Wukumat. how pretty her eyes are. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Look at the stars in her eyes. <laughs> Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Aww. Floaters? Here, here. <laughs> we are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. Oh, With God. our combined talents, Nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Cute. This is so sweet. Oh, look at Aravel just sitting there smiling. Kiska, thanks for the 85 months. Hello. Meanwhile, in the second, promises that real quick thank you so much kiska and the set all oh, them thank you all i'm proud to call you my wait friend. they could hear all that oh they seem to be enjoying themselves they were eavesdropping you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister are you kidding me hi mac good morning what the heck they heard all that Thanks for the 85 months, Kiska. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Nay, there is no need for that. Wait, why? Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Yeah, right? Helping you has made us rivals, aye. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. What? Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Yep. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. I like this guy though. Our time hey. in Narcopacha only served to strengthen my resolve. 
We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better, and I will be the man to change it. Hmm, I'm so curious well, to see it's a start. where this is gonna go. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. All the things you'll hear and feel and think. <laughs> But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes dawn-served, not the one who performed the seven feats first. Question, don't they, if we, if, if they could hear Waklamat, then can't they hear us? <laughs> or them, I guess? <clears throat> Grahaga left behind, so they had to give up, give us a new cat boy. Yeah, where is Graha? What the heck? The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Oh, he stayed in Charlene so Kryle could come with us. Meanwhile, with the first promise... Oh, we're getting all the information on everybody. Ooh, what are these houses? Like little bubble houses. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient sun? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Too bad his attitude sucks. Such titles mean nothing. Ah, I neglected to mention. When I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. What? If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Whoa, why does he want a share of it? Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside after all. Wait, what? Time is passing, I would put my plans in motion. The useless tool is cast aside. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course. No matter who is made to suffer. What? In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. Oh, dang. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? What? Oh, he evil. Look at that smiling chameleon face. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh no. Earlier with Baku Jaja. Who's worse? That guy or this guy? I think they're both. Uh, I was hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. 
be a shame to lose a plaything. But we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliolal after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we care about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. What? That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Dawn's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our king to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea! Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. Wait, they all live in the jungle? We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I made it. <sighs> uh oh. I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet somehow I made it. Wait, he fell off the boat? Oh, my arms! I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. Oh no, My he's gonna kill him. Spoken. March. Or be fodder for the beasts. Oh. Uh, but, but I followed the teachings. Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed seedlings. Wait. Don't leave me behind. I'm begging you. <laughs> we have no plans. Proceeds to drop plans. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. He's like, I don't know about that, but first I'll have all of my kin move in. <laughs> oh, there's a plan. <laughs> okay. What next? Being able to say those things has brought me such relief. It's like a stone has been lifted off my chest and I can take a full breath at last. I don't want to encumber myself like that again. I want to be better, will be better for myself and for my people. Yay. This place is pretty. A leaking work pot. Oh look, now I get another coffer. Weapon coffer. He's concerned about dangers on the road. Okay, uh, the Malvin settlement of Earthenshire is not far from here, but be warned. The road will be taken as a favorite hunting grounds for bandits. With the stairs currently impassable, there will be fewer travelers, meaning the brigands will be desperate for victims to ambush. Although considering present company, I suppose my concern is unwarranted. Bandits on the road? What have Zoralja and the Landsguard been doing? Seems it's up to me to restore order to the area. That's right. And off she goes again. For now, we'll head west and aim for the bank of the second river. Bandits. Let's get them. Ooh, so pretty. So colorful. I like it. Um... Is my outfit okay? Yeah, I'm good, okay. All right, so where? What? There? Oh, this way, right. Oh look, there's the moblins. Do, 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 do. do I need to be hitting these alpaca keeps? Not hitting them, but clicking them? Oh yeah, no? Oh. Widow maker? Oh god. This is pretty. Ooh, look at the water. Ooh. Ooh. This area, I love all the purple. The 
with the petals falling. Ugh. Beautiful. Okay, let me get a little, go a little bit faster. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> Well, what, where are these bandits? Apparently they're not foolish enough to attack a party of this size. Earth and Shire is just a little farther ahead on the opposite bank of Mia Quebec, Mia Quebec Zoma, but let's remain vigilant all the same. Okay, oh, is that an aether card over there? I'm gonna go get it. Ooh. Here we go. Aether current. I'll be getting all of these tonight. Okay, I'll have to remember I got the one that was over here. What is over here, though? No, not that one. Where is my dog? Here we go. Oh. Look at this area. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, ooh. Look how pretty this would be. This is a perfect spot to take a photo. Oh my God. So good. Okay, anyways, perfect photo taking opportunity. Where do I go? Oh. Uh, oh, this way. Okay, let's go. Da -da -da. Mia Quebec Zoma. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. There's so many areas here you can take really pretty photos. <gasps> Iguana! I have that! That's my hunt! Wait, I need to actually kill this guy. Oops. I need to kill him. I think I have to kill one or two of these. Uh, two of these. I can't remember. The iguana. Uh, do I need to kill one more? Oh, yeah, one more. When are, when, when are we gonna get treasure hunts? When is that? Is that in the next patch? Anybody know? Doing treasure hunts is fun and I wanna do it. I'll have to get my gather to level 100 though. Not sure. There's maps, just no portals. Oh. Oh. Eh. Yeah, I want the portals. But I mean, I guess maps are still. Good, I guess. Still pricey hairstyle and matte. Is it the, I don't know if I like the hairstyle, but I could sell it. It's okay, okay, fair. All right, here we go. Cutscene. Is it voiced? Nope. Uh, this is it, the village where the lay of pots from the Tulio saga took place. Wow, look at their houses! <laughs> they do look like clay pots. Earthenshire, Idleshire, might this similarity be a cultural inclination, I wonder? Maybe. The settlements themselves couldn't be more different, though. The Shire appears custom built to resemble pots, while the others. While the other is a repurposed town. 
Yeah. Welcome to Earthshire. Do I have the pleasure of happy greeting the third promise and her retinue? That's us. We're looking for the Dawn Servant's Elector, if you happen to know who that is. You are exchanging tongue flaps with her right now. <laughs> oh, ready, Rook? Ready, Rook? Ready, Rook? Is the Elector you seek? Ready, Rook? I don't know what the hair looks like, is it, but I don't. Is it if it's the if it's the hair from the patch notes? Yeah. Eh. Oh, that's helpful. We can cut straight to performing the feat. As much as Ray Rook would like to do, just that we have a much more pressing worry. The storm which hit our village shattered the cliffs and dropped rocks on our brain cases. Many help hands for the postworns, pot pots. Pot sworn were injured. This is no time for feats or metal tests. I'm sorry to hear that. After learning about the storm, alert, after learning what the storm did to the stairs, I feared you'd be caught up or caught in its path. Uh, not to change the subject, but what are the pot sworn? Goldsmith contracted to work for the Moblins. The word comes from the Pot Lake workshops where they practice their craft. The Moblins provide these pots sworn with tools, materials, living quarters, everything the artisans could possibly need. This allows them to concentrate on producing with what is widely known as the finest gold and metalwork in Tura. Ooh. This is unacceptable. I was promised no distractions. If this is the best they can offer, I should have left Wachu. I should have never left Wachu Miki Miki. <laughs> you see, the Possorn desert us. Without enough healthy help hands, we are failing to uphold our side of the pot pack. Should all our Possorn leave, Earthenshire will grind to a halt. We have to do something and do it soon. Then let us stand in for the injured helpers. It would give me the chance to learn more about your people and your village. And if it brings us closer to beginning the feat, then all the better. This isn't strictly part of the contest, so don't feel obligated to join in. Take a rest while you can. Of course I'll help! Oh my god, I could say I could use a nap. <laughs> no! I was hoping you'd say that. I actually wasn't sure I could do this on my own. We'll all help. I doubt any of us could just sit around and watch. We'll take every help hand we can get. Ready, ready, Rock? Trust wears that once the Possworn have their perfect workshops again, we will commence the feat with all haste. You and the Third Promise can assist help hand Ra Rock Rock. Rock Rock? Rock Rock. Yeah, we were talking about maps, Vic. <laughs> You other four follow Ready Rock. There are other help hands in need of help lending. But I would only be able to do the maps that are in the first two areas. Ah. I really appreciate you pitching in. I meant what I said at many fires. There's, there'll be no more feign, feigning strength. No more playing at being an invincible promise. If there's one thing I've learned on this journey, it's how it's how practice you are at aiding those in need. And I mean to make the most of having such an incredible mentor at my side. Now, let's find that Rock Rock fellow and see what we can do for him. Ooh, I like this area though. They're all named after pots. If I recall, both the hairs showed off in the patch notes were short hair. One with a bit of a bun. Yeah, it, there were shorter hairs. I don't like short hair on my Lollafell. So I wasn't a fan. But if they sell for a lot. Alright, here he is. Look how cute this town is. Uh, 
Uh, Rock Rock can't meet his obligations without more help hands. The pot pad is broken and the pots are emptying. You come to aid Rock Rock Rock? Rock Rock accepts your hand lending with joyous field smiles. If we can offer the pot sworn their promised good living, we might get, we might save the day yet. Whatever you need. Ooh, I got a new weapon. Use. Yeah, this is worse. Yes, okay. Uh, crocodile skin codex? What? <laughs> okay. Alright, I got a new, I got a new weapon. 652 now. Alright, so ooh, I get another one. Chest gear coffer? What about, like, my hat and my pants? When am I gonna get a hat and pants? What the heck? Maybe I never do. What Rock Rock needs is for new help hands to create good living for post worn Kahi. The help hand assigned to Kahi was hurt during the rock rain, so Rock Rock took over, but he knows nothing of Kahi. What does Kahi want? What does Kahi need? Help hands do not bother the pot sworn with straight tasks. Our job is to observe and, and anticipate, to prepare things with guess think. Please, guess think with Rock Rock. Find out what Kahi is lacking so we can provide it. You can count on us. Kahi! Dungeons in our coffers. Oh, okay. This is where Kahi works, is it? Kahi. Let's take a peek inside then. So this isn't the task at hand? That must be Kahi. It, it'd be a lot quicker if we could just talk to him, but that's not the way they do things around here, apparently. He looks hot. Maybe we give him a fan? We'll have to leave him be and try our hand at some guest think. Cool. Inspect the workshop. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target the point of interest and examine it. Ooh, it's one of these. Alright, let's Put our brains together. Okay, well. He looks hot. He must be boiling sitting so close to the furnace and there's no airflow to speak of. How could anyone work in that stifling heat? Number one. Crafting materials. Well, he's no shortage of crafting materials. There must be something else he's missing. Okay. Untouched meal. Oh, that looks so good. He's barely touched his meal. That dish is meant to be eaten hot or it loses its savor. But it, okay. What else? Oh, worn goldsmithing tools. Those tools are looking pretty worn down. Maybe it's time for some new ones? That's <laughs> Ricky. Lahi? Kahi? Just reminds... Yeah, it makes you think of Lahi. <laughs> Lahi? Do we have any of those memes? I maybe haven't seen anything yet, but is there any memes that I may be missing? Alright, after taking a good look, I think I have an idea of what things Kahi might want to improve his working conditions. Let's head back outside and talk to Rock Rock. Kahi? Um, cool, you, you made your uh, observations. What did you guess think? First off, I noticed Kai, he hasn't touched his food, and an empty belly can't be good for his concentration. Maybe the cooking isn't to his liking? But our food is most, is very mouth-pleasing. Why wouldn't he want to eat it? Ah, uh, but Rock Rock is sure of nothing when it comes to Kahi's taste. I can help you with that. My brother Koana is also... Hey. 
Hit sorrow? Hit sorrow? <laughs> and while everyone has their personal preferences, there are some they tend to share, like an aversion to piping hot dishes. If it was brought to him like that, Kahi probably wouldn't have been able to eat until it cooled down. And by the time he came back to it, it might have found it cold. Oh yeah, he might have found it cold and unappetizing. The simplest solution is to serve dishes that taste good no matter the temperature. Rakarok never would have thought of that. Would the third promise mind explaining these things to our cook? Not at all. But I don't think there was the only that was the only reason Kahi couldn't concentrate. The head sorrow homeland is hot and dry, but even Kahi seemed to be suffering in front of that furnace. Is there any way you could cool down the workshop? Oh, we could try a drafty shard. They made a they make a lovely breeze. Do you know where we can get one of those? You can gather them from the shoals of no return. There are so many old bolts there, abandoned by those who gave up on their search for the Golden City. So we salvaged them from the wrecks. Could you handle that for us? Yeah. You could say Makote. That is a Tural name for them. Oh, the Hitsaro. Oh, that's right. Right, right, right. Oh, and one more thing. From what I could tell, Kahi's files and saws and things were very worn down. Maybe a new set of tools is in order? Ah! Rock Rock was too preoccupied with stocking materials, a serious oversight which he felt, or which he will rectify. Supplying good tools for good living is a help hand's responsibility. Then we all have work to do. We can meet back here when our tasks are done. The shoals of no return are past the crags through a tunnel southeast of here. You should be able to spot the passage from just outside the village. Okay. Yeah, they they replaced a lot of different words. It's hard to it's difficult right now to keep up with, with what means what. Makote. Hit hit sorrow. Okay, so I have to go this way. Oh, over here. Where is this Shoals of No Return? Oh, what are they doing here? You're Miss, aren't you? What brings you out here? Ah, oh, the issue with caring for the po Potswern. When they approached me with that same problem, I suggested they commission artisans and Charlian instead. The quality of craftsmanship would be guaranteed after all. However, the Moblin did not care for the idea. Surely it would be more effective to engage a uniformly trained collective. I cannot understand their fixation on individual contracts. Perhaps the custom will make more sense once we begin the feat of pots. Until then, we've been deemed unfit to assist in the matter of help hands and are instead tasked with tending the injured. We were on our way back from procuring herbs for Urian J, in fact. Settlements in Kazumo Kos 2 have been isolated by the storm's destruction. What would have become of the wounded had we not found a way here? Should I become Dawn Servant? Should I become Dawn Servant, one of my first acts will be to establish reliable trade routes to the capital. When I imagine how good how much good we can achieve with Charlie and technology. My apologies, I have much to consider, if you will excuse us. We'll meet again soon, I'm sure. Take care. Dancra didn't seem to like what he was saying. Trade routes? Where? Oh, you spot the tunnel opening, head through the passage to the shoulder to return and recover the drafty shard. <laughs> this is such a cute name. To the drafty shard we go! Chocopur. Oh yeah! Have y'all got the Chocopur mount yet? That's still, that's still happening with the drops. Did y'all get the mount yet? And all the other goodies? Wait, that's not the way. Oh my god, where am I going? 
I was like, well, follow, follow. Wait, how do I get there? This way? I got mine first day. <laughs> is this the opening? I think that's, yeah, this is the opening. Excuse me, Mr. Iguana. What were the other things? Aetherite tickets and food, right? I didn't care for the first two things, but the mount was cool if, you know, didn't have it. Alright. Ooh, look at this, another current. Fiery orange crystal. Okay, I got another one. Thank you. All right, let's find a drafty shard. An orange crystal? No. Hi, Rose, how are you? The crystalline shard is faintly warm to the touch. It does not appear to be a wind crystal. Right. Ooh, a bright green one. Yes, this one has to be it. The crystalline shard emits Soothing whisper of wit. It seems you found the crystal rock rock sent you to south. Okay. Done. Alright, we gotta go back now. I'm lazy! Smile roll just sitting right there. Chilling. Oh, here he is. Here's your drafty shard. Is that a cool breeze rock rock feel? I need a drafty shard in my room. It's hot in here. Yes, thank you for seek finding a drafty shard. Rock rock, rock rock will add it to the new set of tools he brought. And I come bearing good food tidings. The cook has prepared a feast fit for the most discerning head sorrow, and it's on its way even as we speak. Let's go in and see what Kahi thinks of our efforts. He's gonna hate us. Watch, he's already gonna be gone, isn't he? Oh, never mind. He looks happy. Oops. I didn't mean to click. A fine meal, new tools, and a welcome source of cool air. Now, I remember why I signed a pot pack. I am grateful for your kind considerations. Allow me a moment or two and I'll reciprocate with a piece worthy of a pot swear. You love when the main melody kicks in here? It's nice. A bowl? Wow. Oh, no, it's an oil lamp. <laughs> To brighten the halls of Volok Shuncha. Shun, Shuncha? The craftsmanship satisfies Earthenshire's reputation for quality, I trust. Such luster, such brilliance, truly a gift fit for the dawn servant. I'm glad you like it. Considering the time I've wasted till now, I hope to continue crafting at this improved pace. I have a contract to fill, after all. They look so cute. Forgive my interruption. Lama T, I am told the Elector has deemed the crisis past and is prepared to task us with defeat. That's great news. Thank you for letting me know. So this is the craft of a Potsword. It is indeed a masterful piece. Thank you for your words of praise, Second Promise. I drew inspiration from Kazumauka's natural beauty and sought to capture it in my work. 
wondered why the Moblins did not simply build a workshop in the city, and now I have my answer. Even Charlie and Goldsmiths could not easily replicate such exquisite artistry. Ooh, he's learning. One cannot create great things if one lacks creative impetus. Impetus? Tuliolo fortunately does not want for inspiration. Anyone wishing to learn the basics of a craft would do well to study it there. I was raised among Hetsaro, more traditional than most, and the shared ingenuity of Tural's various peoples was eye-opening. You lived as a traditional Hetsaro? I have few fond memories of nomadic life. Ooh. Interesting. Cat boy. <laughs> Is he your favorite, Vic? Ah! Uh. <sighs> Alright. Rock Rock is very grateful to you. I thank you for both your hard work and clever guest think. When it comes to help handing, knowing the pot swarm really is important. Well, that's true for pretty much everyone you meet. It's a lesson I've had drummed into me several times already on this journey. New chess piece. You. Uh. Interesting. Look at the little pot on the outfit. That's cool. I'm like so obsessed with this outfit. I freaking love it. But it does not fit the region. <laughs> oh well. The feet of pots. Oh, and now I get leg piece. Ah. Can't broken glass. What are y'all doing? The elector bids the claimants assemble in the large building on the west side of the village. I will head over after finding Thancred and Urian J. Ah, I also ran to the Levelleur, oh, I can never say their last name, Levelleur twins on the way here. I took the liberty of directing them to the venue. And Levelleur, and Levelleur. We're rivals, it's not his job to make sure I know the feed is starting, but even now he's conscientious to a fault. Anyway, let's not keep Red Rock waiting. And Levelleur, Levelleur. I have a full list of everything I need to gather to level all crafters to 100. So currently slaving on my gathers for those. Okay. Good luck, Todd. You're going to teach me when I get my crafters to level 100, right? Or 90. Leveler. 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 A leveling. A level sign. Live a mix. Okay, here we go. I'll give you the list and then you can go gather them. Okay. <laughs> Red Rock, thank you for assisting. Help hand Rock Rock. Uh, she will announce the feat once the other claimants arrive, so please be patient a little while longer. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I'm happy to report that we were able to convince one of the Possworn to stay. How did you fare? Same. So you managed to do the same. Splendid. Oh no. He's, oh yeah, he's been here. Welcome to Erdenshire, your first promise. We support your plans for salt crossings. And the new pots were they will bring. Hail the mighty Zoralja! He cleared many piles of rock fall as if they were pebble stones. The resilient sun for dawn servant. 
Thrall job was clearing fallen rocks? I'm surprised he would volunteer his time for anything unrelated to the contest. Well, well, we meet again. Oh no, everybody's here. Holy cow. He's so tall. Just in time for the feat to begin. I'll bet he was already here laying low while the rest of us did all the work. Probably. Claim it to your attention, please. As Rudderock has explained, many of our pots were and left us following the storm. The precious metal work crafted by those artisans bring in much jingly shine from across the salt. Should our stream of trade goods dry up, Earthenshire will suffer. Tuliola merchants will suffer. Mm -hmm. So Ritterock sets you this feat. Each of you are to find one clever hand goldsmith to bring back here to us. So we're to recruit new Potsworn? Makes sense for the feat of pots. Calling this a feat does not justify taking advantage of the claimants and their influence. How does it finding work how does finding workers for you demonstrate their worthiness for the throne? You are free to refuse Redorock's request. She will be happy to inform the Dawn Servant of Zoralja's disqualification. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> the right is a means to an end. The steps we take to get there are not important. Oh, then Redorock declares the feat of pots begun. But remember, a pot pack must be agreed to willingly. No grab snatching or deceitful tongue flaps. <laughs> No deceitful tongue flaps, chat. Okay. The elector said nothing of taking a willing artisan from a rival. <gasps> Which is exactly what we should do. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Gee hee hee hee. Fine suggestion, brother. I'm glad you think so, brother. Come, let us lay our plans. That nasty brute is is up to something. I he may seek to delay us again as he did on the river. We can but remain vigilant while we plot our course. What do you think, Wakumat? Have you any candidates in mind to satisfy this feat? I know some artisans amongst my supporters, but they are all in their twilight years. <gasps> what about the Jean guy that we we helped? I couldn't ask them to give up the comp the comforts of Tuliolo to live in this remote village, no matter how beautiful the scenery. Meanwhile, Kiwana probably has a hundred young craftspeople to choose from. Not that I'm comparing us, you understand. That's just a statement of fact. <laughs> uh, hmm, I suppose we could try asking around Wachu Miki Miki. That seems a logical place to start. Back to Tuliolo it is. Wait, does that mean we have to take the boat again? I was about to say, like, how do we get all the way? We literally just came from there. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I can't do I can't stomach another boat ride. <laughs> boat savage. We said I should share, you said I should share my burden, so I will speak plainly. The truth is, I get really, really sick on boats. <laughs> We've kind of figured that. <laughs> oh, Clement, this is hardly news. <laughs> yeah, can we, yeah, can we get <laughs> magic drama mean? But it was brave of you to admit it. Or to admit, in any case, we won't be fighting the current this time. Heading downriver will be much smoother. <laughs> Look at her eyes. It will. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive, mostly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, are we 
we already here? Oh, we are. Oh, I need a moment. Up river or down river? Ihui Katuma is too rough for me. The nausea is a bit more bearable now that I've stopped trying to hide it, but I'd, ra I'd still rather not set foot on a boat if I can help it. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's see if Master Rockley can help us recruit a pot swarm. Just don't rock the boat. <laughs> I love that the dungeon is located in the town, like right here. I love it. Hi, Jai Sword. Has Final Fantasy fully engulfed your life yet? Oh, it already has. Yes. Even though I haven't gotten that far in. Wait, are we still level 91? Oh, we're 92 main story quest now. Let me update my title. I'm trying to unlock as much as I can so I can do some fun stuff off stream. <laughs> I was so bored that I was, uh, I finished the shared fates in the two areas that I could. Cause I had nothing else I could do. <laughs> Cause I only, I only want to do main story quests on stream so I can like upload like the story and stuff, right? Yeah, she gets on off stream and she's like, what do I do? <laughs> Because I want to keep playing, but I don't want to do the main story, so I'm like, what can I even do? Oh, gosh. Alright, three greetings, third promise. What brings you back to Wachu Maki Maki? You've not chipped your axe again, have you? No, Master Rockley. Actually, I have a favor to ask. Ah. Uh? So what do you think? Do you know of any craftsmen who might be interested? Flit filching my artisans for the Moblins, eh? Seeing as it's the third promises making the request, it's the third promise making the request, I'm willing to look the other way if one of them decides to take you up on the offer. Only, I can't think of a suitable candidate off the top of my head. Who do I know with a mastery of goldsmithing that would also have no qualms about relocating to Earthenshire? That Iorzean goldsmith? What about him? Yeah! I forgot his name already. Yeah, there we go. You mean Fon Jantain? He did say he was employed at some fancy jewelry store across the salt. And considering the distance he's already come, I like to think he wouldn't mind moving a little up the river. That said, he's only just got himself a new job. Is it too soon to ask him to sign a pot pack? There's no harm in making the offer. Once he hears how well the pots were are treated, he may even jump at the chance. Either way, you won't find Fon Jontain at his workbench at this hour. He's finished for the day, probably enjoying a meal over a Zalbeav Thai 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 tablet. Then maybe we should go and talk to him. Just you and me, since he knows us. Wouldn't want him to feel intimidated by having to deal with a crowd of new faces. The two of us can handle this. Take a rest at the cabins if you like. Right, let's go and see a man about the pot. I don't know what they said, I clicked too fast. You need to unlock a new zone so you can farm more fates. <laughs> ah! When am I gonna unlock the new zone though? Because I'm at the Hanu Hanu area, I'm the lower half, and then I still have that lower half of the Pelu Pelu. Oh, it's gonna be forever until I lock, unlock a new area, isn't it? No. So I haven't even gone to the Palu Palu area. I see FN! Wait, can I go turn in? Oh, wait. Oh no, this is something that's not bad. Okay, I guess I can't yet. Maybe I'm not high enough level. You get stuff automatically. How do you get the new one? Can you ride chocobos? Yes. Not here though. There's no chocobos here. Unless you like own a chocobo now.
You can pick up a fresh one. What is the red quest next to the board, though? The next one's unlock after enough story. <laughs> okay. Darn it. Oh, I'm on the table. All right. Hello, sir. Hi, Mai. Thanks for four months. Hello. How are you doing? How are you today? My bot not working, Asa. How dare it. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Mai. Oh, miss, you're here too. The third promised that she wanted to chat. I've just finished eating, so shall we find a quiet spot outside? Surf suffering with Elden Ring? Oh no. <laughs> How far have you been getting? I'm assuming you're playing the new DLC. <laughs> Good luck. When does Grand Theft Auto 6 drop? Uh, there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and elite hunts to unlock. So, oh, as you progress? Okay. The last time we talked on this beach, you were in a miserable state. Ah, yes, I was, wasn't I? A lost soul until the two of you came along and helped me rediscover my purpose. My new place of employment has been most welcoming, and for the first time in a long time, I feel content with my lot in life. That's wonderful. So, what is it you wish to discuss? <laughs> we wish to rip that away from you. Um, well, it's hard to ask this right after you've settled in, but I'm looking for someone to become a pot sworn. Oh, I've heard my new colleagues mention the term. That's when an artisan signs a contract to work for the Moblins, isn't it? But you're not a Moblin. I'm not sure I understand. It's for a, f a feat in the right of succession. I need to bring a new pot sworn to Earthenshire. So that is the way of it. We barely met, and after pushing you to work at Wachu Maki Maki, I'm now demanding you throw that away and sign a pot pack instead. It's a selfish request, I know. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. My stomach's growling. I have something to tell you, third promise. The other day I completed the necessary procedures for immigration. I'm pleased to say I am now an official subject of Tuliolo. I've since endeavored to learn that, or er, I've since endeavored to learn what I can of my new nation, beginning with the right of succession and its claimants, including you, of course. Now, you will recall it was my father's example which led me to pursue goldsmithing. He was at East End when Garlean's forces laid siege to the settlement, and in, and in the ensuing chaos, he was slain. Oh, dang. It was my first playthrough last night. I killed Melania. Wow, really? Good job. What the heck? 2025? Oh, I'll definitely finish 14 by <laughs> before then. War took him from me in an instant. The man I loved and admired. I never wished to suffer such a loss again. And so, as much as I'm indebted to you for turning my life around, it is as it is as a fellow peace-loving Tuliolan that I want you to win the throne. If I can help you achieve that by signing a pot pack, then I shall gladly do so. <gasps> Yay! Wow, that was easy. Fon John Tane, thank you. I shall return to Master Ropley and inform him of my decision. Allow me, I'm the reason you're leaving, so I should be the one to deliver the news. Whoa, pink! Uh, oh, Brookubu. Wait, he's pink? Perhaps you remember me, Brookubu, owner of the restaurant? I'd like a word if you don't mind. You're Waklamet's ally, ally from across the salt, right? And a hero of some renown, too, if the gossips to be believed. Well, as it so happens, I could use some heroic help. It doesn't need to be right now, but could you come by when you have a spare moment? Much appreciated. I'll be waiting for you at my shop then. Pink. You can now gain access to a role quest. Speak with Brokubu at the restaurant and pursue any pursue new adventures as you progress through the Rite of Succession. 
Wait, what are those again? Roll quests? For my scholar? My scholar, right? Er... Uncouth cus customers? I'll have to get this later. I want to keep focusing on the main story. Um... Is that what role quests are for, right? Like, for your different jobs? Ah, uh, yeah, healer, caster, melee, range, tank, all have their own role. Right, 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 right. Okay, I'll have to do that at another time. Should I do it now, actually, or should I just keep doing main story? Additional story? I know, isn't it fun, Sam? I love it. Hmm. Mm. You haven't done them? Do they not unlock anything? Mentor? Oh. I should not be anybody's mentor. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kylie, how do we do this dungeon? Ah! Uh, don't die. <laughs> Master Ropley, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but, uh... Fondantain has agreed to sign the Paw Pack, yes? Well, it is a shame to lose a capable goldsmith, to have one of our own handpicked to serve the third promise is a great honor for Wachu, McKee McKee. I appreciate you understanding. Of course, if you understand to know other talented artisans, regardless of their expertise, I hope you send them my way. It could even be yourself if you're so inclined. I'll keep that in mind. Though my time here was brief, I will not forget your kindness, Master Ropley. I'm blessed to have these workshops be my first home in Tuliolo. Come back to us if the moblins cut you loose. You'll always have a job at Wachu Mikimiki. That's nice. I expect you'll want to leave for Earth and Shire as soon as possible. I'll go and pack my things. What became of Fonjon Tain? Were you able to find him? We did, and he's agreed to become a Potswern. We'll leave when he's ready, but you still have a little time. Splendid. We shall meet you in Nan. I had plenty of reasons to win the contest, but now I have one more. Fonjon Tain's putting his faith in me, and I won't let him down. I got some pants! Roll quests usually have little extra story that branches off from the main one, but you don't need to do them. I don't think I ever done any of the Inwalkers. I feel like I did, but I can't remember if I did. I think I did. Your roll specific quest is required to unlock the ability to dye your job's artifact armor. Oh. Okay, what's artifact armor? <laughs> Uh, you may now unlock deliveries for Wachu Miki Miki. Oh, I can do deliveries now? Speak, wait! Deliveries! Speak to Rockley and pursue new endeavors. You oh, that's why they said, oh, if you were wanting that. Oh, wait, why is it red? Oh, right. Duh. I'm finally, I'm finally enough to high enough to do that or you know enough further in the story I can do it yay I'm obviously not gonna do that now but yay Huzzah. but yeah I have a all of my gathers are 90 it's just my crafters were never high, cause I never, I never really knew how to level them properly. Yeah. Anyways. 
cool. So this is where I go. Nice. Script Exchange is right next door. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on, let me put my pants on first. Always the weird freaking skirts, man. Alright, cast glamour. There we go. Alright, new pants. A father first. Ooh, shoes. The father first. Ooh. Right then, I have something to take care of at the palace. While you can, while you pass the time however you like, I suggest you head back to the cabin. After all, even heroes need to rest, and we still have a big journey ahead of us. Firmament, and then collectibles once you're sort of higher alongside the same sort of turning quests and Shadowbringers and... Eh, you're gonna have to remind me. Toss! You're gonna have to remind me. Wait, where do I go? Speak with who? Oh, the cabin, right. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that. <laughs> Is there... Go over here and use the I think Firmament is good until level 80. Okay, wait, that would be great because. Yeah, that's not bad. Healer Caster gets so shafted sometimes, they always give us robes and huge skirts. I know, I hate it. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> this outfit is so, so freaking cute though. Love it. Um, welcome back, madame. You've had a land you've had a landsguard messenger most anxiously waiting on your return. Miss of the third promise is entourage. I've been all over the city looking for you. The dawn servant summons you to the palace. You are to present yourself to the gate guard stationed outside Sun Perch at your earliest convenience. Oh, and one more thing, you are not to mention this visit to Walk Lamat. Okay. Alright, what do we got going on? I just hated running in circles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, open sesame. Alright, let's go figure out what's going on. What does he want from me? The Dawn Servant awaits you within. While I was not informed of the reason for your audience, it ter in terms of attire, I would suggest full battle regalia. Okay. What? A duty? Okay. Wait. Wait, what am I what did I do wrong? Oh my god, I'm already level ninety seven. Oh, I can't do it in a party. I was like, I'm not, I changed from Disciple of Land. Right, right, sorry. Okay, I'll leave. Sorry, I was like, I thought I changed to Scholar. Got it. <laughs> I didn't read the party part. All right, let's do this. Cool. Am I gonna have to fight him? <laughs> You're doing laundry? Forgive me this sudden summons. 
When I learned my daughter's champion was back in the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity. Right. <laughs> Where's Astinian? <laughs> and they call me head of resolve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. Old. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The land's welter, Stinian. He fought well enough, but our bout was ended before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? Why don't we find out? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> A spirited answer. Why not indeed? <laughs> the battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. Expect no other mercies. Nice. Go! Ready your arms and show me the truth of the tales. Alright, book. Time to read them a story. I'm not gonna do this. Um, okay. Let's go! <laughs> Give it your all! I want to fight to remember! Let's test the waters. Dual blows? Oh, okay. Ah. It's like my own personal dungeon ah, mechanic. Ah, they didn't even blink. What? Oh. Ooh. Have you ever fought a viper? Ha! Let's see how you handle this. Uh... Ow. Oh, okay. Interesting. Foil strike. Oh, no. Oh, he's going that way. Ah! <laughs> this woman did not lie. Very well, then. Battle breaker? What? Was there nothing I could do? Alright. What? Oh right, he's asleep. That's what he meant. He's following me. <laughs> ha! Did 
you think you had my measure? Take this! Whoa! Fancy. Oh, I haven't had to move at all. <laughs> What the what what the what what is that what what is this? Ow! Oh, he just kicks me. We're far from Can I get his burn off? No. Doubling? reason I was like do I need to stand inside of that <laughs> not quite because <laughs> there's other mechanics where oh they were they are towers oh I was supposed to stand in front of it or stand in it I was supposed to stand darn it Look at that, I learned from my mistake. Whoop, can't far away, oh god. Oh, I shouldn't have second guessed myself. <laughs> Hi Kevin, good morning! You might well indeed. Wow, I got I'm getting lucky with where I'm standing. I'm not having to move at all. <laughs> Take me, take me over there. Yeah, that's fine. Dual blows. This is fun. Have duties always been this cool? Maybe I just can't remember. This is fun though. Fancy blade work. Okay, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, okay. Is this how feel, being a tank feels like? Sometimes, most are butts. I remember, some of them are hard. Do you remember the sneaking one? The sneaky one with Dankra? Was it with Dankra? Oh, right here. I think. Oh, <gasps> oh almost. Didn't quite get that right. Is this how they're teaching me new mechanics so that I'll be prepared for the next dungeon? It's kind of hard to remember. If you're not paying attention. Here, yeah, kick me this way? Yeah. Whee! Oh wait, wrong way. <laughs> wait, wrong one. <laughs> you really are formidable. Yeah, I am. What are they doing? Oh, shoot. Uh, what? Now we'll see what? what? Whoa, oh, shoot. Oh, I don't know, 
Is it this one next? Oh, shoot. Where's my gun? Ah! Ready? Oh, no, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Can I just spam on my keyboard? Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, I'm back. Oh, no, I'm not. You've shown me more than enough. <laughs> hey, this stuff stresses me out like crazy every single time. I'm like, can I just use that? Can I do everything? <laughs> oh, my freaking screen start popping up. We did it! I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. Yay. Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble. Is he? Are you sure he's asleep? And did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. He's a pretty deep sleeper, man. Or he's dead. <laughs> Justinian talking so highly of me. <laughs> oh, are we gonna get some backstory? Now, a confession. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for calling you here. Oh. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. Aww. Did you do the same for In Kiwana? In some respects, she is much like me. Hard-headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your healing touch could sustain La Machi even as she contends with the most fearsome of foes. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Aww. Thank you. Interesting. I think this dialogue was different for me because I was a tank. Wait, what? Really? What did it say differently? Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Maybe Kawana got him special Charlie and earplugs. To help sleep through every to oh to sleep through anything <laughs> I guess so I know I love him too he's sweet he talked about your healing touch oh oh that part oh I see whether E B as their promise or just a companion on the road speak your mind. She is young but has potential. I think she's perfect for a ruling. Ha! <laughs> a tactful response, but agreed. She is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Oh crap. <laughs> hmm. Lama T thinks she understands our many peoples, their histories, their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. Oh. And if 
no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. Oh, dang. So he's still gonna say no? Or I guess he's... Yeah, I guess he can, but... Dang. Look at that gold behind him. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. That's nice. I imagine you in particular have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, love them and be loved in turn. Guy Lamachi as you think best. Walk at our side and when needed, push her to walk ahead. I knew it. Cute. Uh oh. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. Let's take our leave of this battle-mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. <laughs> I want to meet the guy, the the sleeping guy. Darn it. I know he really did say, dang, all my kids suck. <laughs> Watch over her, champion. Do you think he called on all the, uh, like, did he call on, like, a Sinian and talk to him? I wonder. Or not a Sinian, Bancred and Uyanche. But wait, where did Sinian go? Did this, is a Sinian with Kalana too? Kona's recruits are Kona? not as sharp as one might expect of Gallop's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. Mm -hmm. Madrona, thank you for stop giving me the icy. That was sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, they saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though. They dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings. And no good can come of it. That's true. They have, what are they called? Yes men, maybe? That was fun. I like that. If he had his way, Papa would keep dueling until the day he dies. Even now, I know of only three people who didn't need to be carried away after their bouts. Zoralja, your lance-wielding friend, Asinian, and yourself. You really do live up to your fearsome reputation. Uh, I'm curious though, did Papa want anything else of you? A small favor, nothing more. Well, if that's all it was, New shoes! New shoes! Aw, oh, Majona, thanks for stuff you need to re Thank you! Look at my new shoes, chat. Eh. 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 What do I have a. Oh, I just need a new hat now. Hi, Skeptic! Thanks for 52 months! You guys are so sweet, thank you. Hello. Alright, I'm all geared. Let me sort this. Alright, I'm all geared. Look at this. I'm level 97, darn it. 
Is this still, is this still level 92? Okay, yeah. All right. All right, next the quest, uh, the shape of peace. I want coffee now, now that I said that, darn it. Anyways, so I got hand gear. Okay, the shape of peace. I still haven't had one bite of Namika's food thanks to Papa's nonsense, so I'm going back to finish my plate before I head out. I've otherwise asked everyone to meet at the Ford cabins. Come and join us after you have a moment to recover, eh? Eh? Can I jump over this? Whee! I'll get, I'll get a coffee in a little bit. I had a uh, root beer. This looks like beer. But it's root beer. <laughs> I had root beer. It was good. Hey Declan. I've been eating so many leftovers. I've had hot dogs for the past three days. And potato salad. <laughs> Not complaining though. Uh, wait, where's the aetherite? Did I just run past it? Oh my god. I ran past it like an idiot. Oh, you be Final Fantasy 7? I'm playing Rebirth for the first time. I'm only a few hours in, but I'm already in love with the game. Yay! Wait, did you play Remake? Is that what you said? Oh, did you mean like you played Final Fantasy VII Remake? Because Rebirth is the second one. Show me potato salad. I already ate it. What a balanced meal. I have not been eating properly the past couple of days, <laughs> but it's okay. Ooh. I've been having hot dogs and hamburgers too. <laughs> Uh, to gaming in, she's a great teacher, but kind of drops some info and musings at random times. It's an online class, so if I don't constantly check the class, I fall behind. Oh, I see. Got it. Oh, but you did- oh, the original! Nice! Congrats, Uber. Uber. Not Uber. Uber. My people are here staring at me. My immersion. All right, are we going back now? The Moblin thing was pretty easy. They just had to find a person. I wonder what the next one will be. Hello. <laughs> Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Is that it? You're all set to go. I left Eorzea prepared to travel in search of work, so I had few belongings to begin with. Bidding farewell to my fellow artisans took rather a lot of time, however. Again, I appreciate you making this commitment, Fongetain. Can you imagine? Like, Vic, what if your name was Fongentain? Can you imagine? It'd be the most unique name I've ever heard in my life. Shall we depart for Earthenshire, then? A word before you go. Who is this? <laughs> oh, Wukuvu, what are you doing here? Ah, I spend my days correcting manners, and here I am perpetrating uh, the grave offense of delaying the third promise's departure. Please take off your axe and rid my flesh onto taco meat. <laughs> Must your demands be so gruesome? Besides, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. All right then, I won't let it bother me either. What, what was that all about? I'd come to the city to per purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the city of gold, if I'm not mistaken. Does he know? That's right, it's the final step of the rite of succession. If you know anything about the subject, I'd love to hear it. What? He knows? Then allow me to be of service. As you know, legends of the Golden City have been passed down in Tural for a thousand years. 
Yeah, when it comes to describing the place itself, the stories do not always agree. Some portray it as one might expect, a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Others suggest it is more unassuming and owes the name to a fabulous treasure hidden at its heart. Ever telling, however, has a common thread. Those who go in search of the golden city do not return. The lesson to be learned from this third promise is that to seek the legend is to court death. I must implore you to proceed with the utmost care. That is all I wish to say. I shall pray for your safe journey. Death? Thank you, Wokuwu. Yeah, I know this game does have a lot of unique names. I don't know if they're supposed to be Old English. Uh, what are we... What are we to make of these cautionary tales? If every expedition has ended in tragedy, how then did the Dawn Servant fi find the city and return without incident? It seems that legend originated from... Originated with the Yakwi. Speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I feel. A lead we shall follow in time, but first let us f let us see Fonjontaine safely into the Moblin's care. Right, we're heading there next. Your queen! Oh, also, would you recommend someone try out 14? It seems like a fun game to play with my friends. 100%! Meanwhile, in Kozamaoka. Raining again. Oh, who's the Finding bunny girl? A willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the resilient sun. Especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. Oh, such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? Interesting. Is he wanting to go to like Eorzea and like dominate it? Step aside. Remind me. There was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants. Was there? Ooh, are we gonna see a fight? Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja. <laughs> foolish would be carrying on with these dull feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. Oh boy. Bakul <laughs> The Don Serrat may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing blessed about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon, face me in battle, and learn your place. A moment, first promise. Leave him alive, if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Too scared to make the first move. Then allow me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shoot, he knocked him out. Wow. 
Whoa, he's strong. <laughs> One punch man. But he... He's just a runt. You picked with the wrong man, apparently. My thanks for your restraint. I can kill him whenever I please. Dang! Is this one of my favorite, or is this my favorite Final Fantasy game? This is my favorite MMO. <laughs> Your part in this is far from over. Oh. <laughs> oh, really, Vic? <laughs> One punch jaw! <laughs> Those two heads not have much to say now! That's true! Get em! We're back, and we brought with us a willing pot, pot sword. This is Fun John Tane, a talented goldsmith who once worked at Esh Tame's Aesthetics in Ulda. Wonderful! Impressive! You are first to return, Third Promise. And with an artisan with from across the salt, no less, we welcome you and your unique skills to Earthenshire. Help hand will show you to the work pot. This is it, then. I look forward to hearing you proclaimed Dawn Servant. I hope. Thank you, Fonjontaine. I'll be sure not to disappoint you. You can see like the wrinkles under his eyes. <laughs> Tiny wrinkles. You have reached met the requirements of the feet of pots. Rhetoric presents your keystone with joy smiles and well wishing. Yay! I'm surprised he doesn't... The, the two-headed guy doesn't just... Kill this guy and just take it, you know? Just taking the keystone. That makes three! More Potsworn candidates? Come, come, tell Rhetorok your tales. Come, come. What is that other guy gonna do? You know what? I don't care. He can fail. Another feat accomplished, another keystone acquired. Oh, you are doing well. I expect nothing less of Zoralja's esteemed siblings. Your cleverness in particular is most admirable, Second Promise. We must have you apply that Charlian knowledge you so cherish and arm Tural with weapons of Magitek design. Oh. In your role as the new Dawn Servant's chief advisor, of course. Oh, jeez. The tools of war hold no interest for me. I wish only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Foreign powers will think twice about testing our strength once Tulio is known for its advanced technology. Just as the Garlean Empire were, was deterred from invading Charlian. That may well be true, but how long will it take Tulio to progress to this advanced state? How many years? With a collective commitment to education and hard work, it should not take so very... Your way, your way is too slow. Easier to expand our territory and swallow Charlian whole. What? Is he stupid? Conquer other nations through force of arms and you're looking at a future of uprisings and bloodshed. Yours wouldn't be the first failed empire. Then we keep fighting until the mounting costs convince them to lay down their weapons until all have grown tired of loss. Mm -hmm. 
How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is a mockery of peace. You tell him, Wafflemat. Rock, Red and Rock is reminded of days long ago. In the time before Tulio, there were no pot packs for the pot sworn. It was normal to grab snatch artisans and force them to work for mobbies? Oh, geez. Until that, the day Gululjaja arrived, the families of the grab snatch pleaded with him, and so he came to Earthenshire. Mobbies are not a war make. A war make people. We feared death had come for us, but Gululjaja just wanted to talk. Hey, look, he's awake. Be at ease. We are here to trade words, not blows. The gold work crafted in this village is superb. One can tell at a glance the quality of materials used, the mastery of techniques employed. Technique employed. Yet it does not stir the heart. A goblet shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Compare that now to the works of a joyful artisan. She pours her very soul into her creations, and they shine like the newly risen sun. Have you not seen this to be true? And so began the custom of good living. Happy Potsworn make good works, and good works make mobbies happy. Gulul Jaja words were wise. Joy Smiles did indeed bring fine craft and much jingle shine. So the head of reason was behind the forging of pot packs? Yes, reason and clever think change Mobby's way of life. <laughs> I'd like to see him try to take over Charlian and any part of Eorzea with me. I'm literally standing there looking at him and be like, like, no, you're not. <laughs> We're right here. You're not going to do that. The first promise tries tires of your talk of olden days. He would rather look to the future and the next feat. Okay, bro. Oh, God, creepy smile. <laughs> this guy creeps me out, man. We should be getting on as well. Where's my boy Justinian and when are we gonna see Graha? But cool Jaja never did come back, did he? Uh oh. Do you have a moment, third promise? Rock Rock would repay you for hand helping with Kahi. He brings a tale of the Golden City. What? Really? I'd love to hear it. The towers, the streets, all fashioned from gold. Everywhere you look, every splendor you can imagine. The young, the old, and everyone in between, they live in golden happiness. A city of eternal bliss, forever perched above the clouds? Everything fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. Now that's a city I'd like to visit. In the clouds? Excuse me, Rock Rock. Where did you hear that particular tale? From our long time Yak Wee friends. They live up in the mountains in Urko Pacha. The giants again? Seems everything is pointing us their way. This feat and everything leading up to it has taught me much about the Moblin way of life. I'll be sad to leave Earthenshire and your joy smiles behind. <laughs> That's cute. Dog dancing. All right. Time to go to the giants. Right, we should go and see the giants next. Agreed, golden mysteries notwithstanding, their village is featured prominently in the saga and is not to be ignored. 
The Urkel Pacha Highlands should be easy enough to reach from here. If we leave Earthenshire from Earthenshire from the west, there's a road which leads up to up into the mountains. Let's find that first. Okay, is that Oh now we're going this way. Okay. Sounds good to me. I was salty when Graha stayed behind. Like, dump your work on someone else and come get gym badges with us. <laughs> well, they showed him in the trailer eating a, a taco. I literally thought he was gonna come with us. And, I don't know. Looks like the trail is going to get steep from here on in. I hope everyone is ready for some climbing. Third promise. I'm glad I caught you. Vetarok asked me to bring you back to the village. She says there's something she forgot to give you. Huh? Something other than the keystone? Yes, an item of great importance, or so I was told. It shouldn't take long if you would please follow me. Okay. I wonder what this is all about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. Uh oh. Okay, wait at the destin. Wait here, I guess. Okay. Alright, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. This is taking quite a while. Just keep waiting for now, I suppose. Alright. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. <laughs> Jeez. Perhaps there were complications? Well, let us wait a little longer. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. This is getting a little ridiculous. Did she get lost on the way back to find us? But how? There's only the one road. I wouldn't underestimate Wuklamat's sense of direction or lack thereof. It's like me. Uh, fortunately, she has a link pearl. Let's see what's keeping her, shall we? Uh oh, she's not answering. Pick up the Link Pearl, Wakumat. Uh oh. She's not responding. Perhaps we should all return to Earthenshire? Twas Redrock who had business with her, yes? Uh oh. Did she get kidnapped? What the heck? Thanks, Orca. She's not here. Back again so soon? We've come looking for Wak Lamed. Did you not send someone to fetch her? Redrock did not. Neither has she seen the third promise since sh you were last here. Uh-oh. Then who was that man who came for her? Oh, I thought you'd left already. Uh-oh. Oh, is he worried about his sister? Where is La Mati? Is she not with you? Somebody has her kidnapped! Thanks for a lurking water goddess. You don't know where she is? How could you let this happen? 
That thou shouldest worry for thy sister is understandable. Yet rather than assign blame, thine energies are better spent on locating her. Thine is correct. I will help you search. This is not how I'd wish a fellow claimant to lose the contest. My sister Elise of all. In that case, dividing our forces will allow us to cover more ground. Miss and I should work together at least. The better to facilitate communication between our groups. Cool. Then the rest of us will split up. Report in should you find anything. We're going to be with Koan... Ko Kauna? How do I say his name again? Kauna? Kauna? We'll be on our way as well. Right? Keep in touch. They have Link Pearls too, don't they? Couldn't they just call us? Come, we should begin our search. I knew that guy looked familiar. Or maybe not. He looked like a hooligan. Ooh, I got new hands. Oh, er, gloves. Hi, Eli! Kona? First A is kind of silent. Kona? Okay. Hi, by the way. How Are you playing Dawn Trail? That's a dumb question. You are playing. How are you enjoy enjoying it? Interesting gloves. Don't like them, but interesting. I already finished MSQ. Yeah, I'm taking my time. But I am level 97. <laughs> I've been doing other stuff. Like this. I finished. Two areas at least. Lost promise. Ooh, headgear. Finally. If Lamity was returning to Earthenshire from the west, then she should have passed through here. Except, Rock swears she didn't see her. In which case, it's entirely possible that Lamity never made it back to the village at all. The only way to be certain is to ask the sentry station at the opposite entrance. You need to get the fates maxed. Have fun with it! It's fun. Look, I got okay, I got my alpaca minion. Look how cute it is. Look how cute. Oh, not hand out, hand over. Ah, adorable. Is there any other good things I can get from the different areas? I'm halfway done with fates. I mean, I'll, I'll grind more fates. I just have to unlock more areas. Uh, the third promise. Uh, Moby has been standing at his post with diligent eye watchings. He has seen no claimants pass this way. What of a Tana Wawuta with brightly colored hair? Moby knows something of this one. He hears tongue flaps about a Pelu peddler in many fires who was attacked by a crazy hair bandit on the road. <gasps> a bandit, you say? Thank you, you've been most helpful. It was a bandit! My sister is clearly not here, though I wish it were otherwise. We must consider the possibility that the Tono Wilton messenger and the brigand described by the sentry are one and the same. And that Lamity is in very real danger. Come, let us hurry to many fires. I'd like a word with this peddler, should they still be around. I'll have a word with you, sir. Where? Oh, here? Oh, okay. Fast travel. How did you manage to reach to 95 already? Fates. <laughs> Literally grinding fates. I had nothing else to do and I still wanted to play. So I got this. I also I made money because I got a ton of gemstones. Used those gemstones to buy materials, sold those materials. And I also got like <laughs> so many levels from it too. Which is fine. I know the umbrella looks so cool, but I asked Todd, I was like, can you buy me one? And he's like, they're not tradable. And I'm like, no! <laughs> so 
Ty. Was there something I could help you with? I'm told you were the victim of a bandit attack. Could you recount exactly what happened? My goodness, I thought I recognized you. I'll tell you everything I remember second, promise. It was that scoundrel, Wawakesa, who, Wawakesa, who ambushed me. Wow. You know the name of your attacker? There's no mistaking that hair. All my peddler friends have stories of that notorious bandit leader and his predations. Wow, Kessa and his gang will stoop to any low for the sake of a few pell. And with no fresh quarry coming up the broken stairs, they've had to become more creative. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Orca. Little wonder he went after Lamati. He likely thinks to ransom her for a royal sum. I expect he'll soon make his demands, but I don't intend to wait. We'll find this villain first and deliver his deserved payment in person. What say you to a small deception? I will assume the role of a well-to-do merchant to lure Wakesa out of hiding. Then when he comes sniffing about, we catch the rat by the tail. Yeah. An excellent plan. I have just the right garments for your disguise. At a specially discounted price, of course. A brush with bandits hasn't damp... Dampen your merchantile spirit, I see. Very well. I accept your generous deal. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, it matches his hair. Now we lay the bait. I will precede you into many fires to make my presence known. You follow on behind, boasting to those along the way how you paid me a hefty purse in exchange for a rare gemstone or some such. If Wakesa is a coin hungry as they say, then a recently enriched peddler should be an irresistible mark. We let him strike and then we spring our trap. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna do it in style. I know, right? <laughs> it looks good on him though. Time to play our parts. Get out of the way, Eos. Follow Kona's lead and try not to fall behind. Oh, I have to follow? Okay. Follow me. Alright, I'm coming. Oh, what's that? Oh. That's a cute minion, whatever the heck that was. I'm boasting! I'm boasting! This man has so much money, he doesn't know what to do with it. Oh. There, that's the brawl, the brawl fellow. Share with him how happy your imaginary deal with me has made you. Once you put on an appropriate display, we can continue to our next performance. Okay, where? Who? Oh, this? Oh, yeah. Slash happy? Happy! Happy! That's so cute. <laughs> A rare gemstone from that... Uh, sorrow merchant, you say? I envy the profit he must have made from such a sale. Since the stairs were destroyed, I've not been able to peddle goods at my usual haunts. Hopefully we don't make these people hate us. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hank. Alright. Um. Oh. Now what? Whoa. Freaking elephant. A good start, but I would make certain Wakesa is aware of me. Let's continue. Oh, okay. That mob over there looks amenable to conversation. The stage is yours. Happy! The Hezaro sold you a sparkly stone for your collection? Well, that explains your giant joy smiles. Mobby's happy for your happiness. Mobby's also jealous of the merchant and all the jingly, jingly shine he must have made. Jingly shine. That should be enough, but perhaps one last act to drive it home. Always comes in threes, chat. Oh, 
teary pillow, maybe? Do you see that teary pillow? Tell him the tale of your precious gemstone and then we'll be done with this part of the charade. Peddler had the very gemstone you sought for your collection? That is a stroke of luck! And I'll wager the merchant was just as pleased to fill his pockets with your grateful coin, eh? Eh? Well, I'm inspired to go and earn some Pell of my own. Who knows? Maybe opportunity will find me, even as it, as it found you. There he is. Look at that sneaky bugger. It's kind of well hidden. <laughs> Except the hair. Hi, Dale. Ah, uh, my most valued customer. The profit from the single purchase of yours should be, should see me through weeks of idle leisure. Traveling with such a fat purse and no sell swords is tempting, is tempting fate. So I shall make Earthenshire my last stop and then return forthwith to Tuliolo. <laughs> Did you see that rat has come for a nibble? Bring the rat poisoning! You played your part to perfection. A woman of many talents, just as Thancred and Urian J described. Now let us lure Wakesa out and spring our traps. Yay! Headpiece! Okay, I can find- oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> huh. How do you breathe in that? Again with the belt. Um, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. What is it called? Mountain Linen Hat of Healing. <laughs> okay. Wow, not my style, but looks cool. Alright. A Brother's Duty! <gasps> this sounds sweet. Let us execute the final stage of the plan. I will sell- I will set out towards Earthenshire alone and unarmed. The better to sell the active defenseless merchant. Assuming Wakesa is watching me, he will likely wait for some quiet stretch of the of the road before accosting me. <laughs> accosting me. I'll be relying on you to follow closely behind, remaining hidden until it come until the time comes to spring the trap on our bandit king. Just remember, we need him alive. Is this level? What level is this? Ninety-two. Where's the area? Oh, behind the tree. Am I gonna have to be stealthy? Oh no. It's also raining. Defenseless me with a pocket full of coin. Jingle jingle. Oh no, we're screwed if I'm the one that has to be sneaky. How am I gonna cross that being sneaky? Oh, what the heck? Oh, is it just a cutscene? I don't have to be sneaky. Oh, look, there, there, there. Oh, they're being attacked. Oh. I hear business has been good to you, Master Merchant. 
How about you share some of the profits? And by some, I mean every coin you have. <laughs> Yeah, let's beat them senseless. You're, you're the gemstone collector. Oh, I see what this is. We've been tricked. Spit in your eye, men. Kill these vigil. Spit in your eye. Uh, what? Aw, but she's cute. Slippery vermin. We'll have to interrogate his underlings instead. If you would be so kind, pray leave them capable of speech. Get him! Time to talk. I was hoping to take talk with your boss, but I suppose you three will have to do. Wait, that's the second promise. What do you want with us? Think I'm scared of a fancy title? I'll take your royal ears as a trophy as soon as I get free of these ropes. Dang. I know your gang is behind my sister's abduction. Tell me where she is. Eat. Puck a poop, salt lover! <laughs> You'll get no answers from us! <laughs> That's right, we don't serve you! Do not play games with me, where is Waklamat? Ooh, serious. Oh. What was that? I am fast losing patience. Talk now or die. The choice is yours. We were hired to nab the third promise. That's all. We don't know where they took her. Hired? By whom? We weren't told that either. Only Wakesa knows. He's the one who took the job. Well, it seems we needed their leader after all. Once I've arranged for the lands guard to take custody of these criminals... I'll call on Thancred and his tracking skills, but perhaps you sh you could pursue Wakesa in the meantime? The bandit was running in an easterly direction. Should you locate him, I suggest you shadow him rather than force a confrontation. He might lead us to where Lamati is being held. No. Who paid him off to do this? I'm guessing it's, um, what is his name? Baku Jaja? The butthole of a coward. Eat paka poop. Hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Wish it was daytime though. But well, this kind of fits, you know? The rain. We found him. Survey the area. Check. Follow Wakesa from a distance. The object will end in failure if you are noticed or fall too far behind. Should, you quar should your quarry begin displaying the effect shown in the picture, you will be discovered when he turns around. To avoid detection at these times, make use of covers such as rocks and trees. Oh, they added this, right? To make this a little bit easier. The objective will also end in failure if you follow too closely. Keep your quarry in sight, but avoid stepping into the detection circle. Wow, they made that so much easier. Should you fail to complete the objective, you may try again by returning to the designated location.
Oh, I had to move. Where's the de where's the circle? It was nothing. I keep going. If I get too close, the circle shows up. my fairy of course oh I can use a mount So big though in the tool tip. <laughs> Final fencree. Fen cred. Final fen cred. I don't want to get close to him. I don't want to fail. <laughs> oh. Should be safe enough now. Ah ha ha ha! Go again. Sounds familiar. Oh, I finished. Yeah, first try. Wow, having that is definitely so helpful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Finally, my money. Give it to me now. The lands guard may be hunting us already. Calm yourself. We had no... We had our own troubles finding a suitable hideaway. Here we go is one of the races. Oh. Right. Right. I do remember, Rhea. We're finished. Take your prize and leave me out of the rest. Such hostility. You are hurting for coin. I offered you gainful employment out of the kindness of my heart. Kindness, you brought a blackened tempest upon us. One look and I could tell that woman was a killer, a butcher, a salted devil in the flesh. Oh, spare me your fearful bleeding. Go on, scamper away now before the scary mercenary comes to claim your head. Kona told me the news. You found the abductor then. What's the situation? Thank Red. I think it's the chameleon eyes one, is the hobigo. And you think the bandits were hired by this hobigo? All right, new strategy. Forget Wakesa and stay on the Mamuja's tail. We don't want to endanger, endanger the third promise, so keep your distance until we're certain they have her. I'll catch up to you as soon as I'm able. Aye, aye, thank Red. Oh, now we have to follow him without being seen. 
Follow the beagle for a safe and unpredictable and unfair. Yes. Try again. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's an interesting space. I'm discovering new locations. Oh, look it! Cool area though. Look how pretty this is. Look at all the flowers. Why has it gotta be a shady hideaway for some people? Oh god! No! <laughs> Dang it, I got distracted by flowers! No! <laughs> how did he see me? Was it my mouth? Maybe I should have been more patient. Wait, here. Uh. Wait, what? What do I do? Oh, 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 here, here. This is why it's a shady hideaway. Everyone's distracted by the flowers. I'm gonna walk. I think having <laughs> having my mount made me too fast. Can I hide behind this skinny tree? Don't mind me, I'm just looking at the flowers, not following you. <laughs> but like, look at my fairy, she totally gives me away. <laughs> She's like, what are we doing? Who are we following? Beagle will have the horn. Oh. See, nobody's here. I'd better hurry if I don't want a beating. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Is that a person? Who is, what is that? Ooh, what is this area? This is cool. Oh, is a person gathering? Oh, okay. <laughs> One last precaution, just in case. I made it! First try! <laughs> What's a boathouse? Oh! Oh no, is he gonna take the boat? Oh no! Wait, what is he doing? No! No, the I forgot Punity is leaving.
Was that our boat? <clears throat> Better late than never. Oh, hello, thank Fred. That Mamuta, Free Willy. He's the one who kidnapped Walk Lamart. You think so? So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. <sighs> that will complicate matters. I set out now. I can trail them along the riverbank. Do it! Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Aww. Do you think she's really not missing at all? No, she's definitely missing. Very well then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. How would this... How would this... Hurt his chances? Oh. That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakul Jaja. Knowing the way is. that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so we could steal her keystones. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. But even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. I should have been there. If those bastards have hurt her. Oh, he really cares about her. Be patient, trust, and thank cred. And thank cred we trust, right? <laughs> I do trust him, but. <sighs> Forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? Aww. These days, Turali Mikote live however they please. But the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. Ro-ro-neck? Ro-neck? During one such... migration, my birth parents left me behind. What?! A child. All alone. Without a single word of explanation. Aww. A chance encounter with a kind Pelu merchant was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuliyolal's market. And that is where the Don Servant found and adopted me. Aww. I had already been in the palace some time when Lamachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore I would always be there for her. Oh my god, I love him even more. What the heck? This is so cute. <clears throat> so, as you might now understand, I will stop at nothing to rescue her. While we await word from Tancred, 
I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel downriver. You have a boat, yes? Why release the Panity if not to delay pursuit? If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? Hmm. Understood. We'll meet you in many fires. Man, this rain is like so relaxing. I'm like, <laughs> I need to make coffee. <laughs> oh, let me finish this quest and I'm gonna make coffee. I may have put rescuing Lamartie ahead of my own progress, but do not take that to mean I've given up on the contest. You understand how important she is to me, yet, regardless of how close we were. I would have made the same choice. After all, if I am incapable of saving my sister while also winning the throne, then I am not fit to inherit my father's heavy mantle. He's so... That's why he's called Brothers Trump. Uh, I like this character even more now. You know what? Do y'all ever listen to like rain sounds when you go to sleep? I heard that the rain sounds are actually not rain sounds recorded. It's actually cooking fried chicken. That's the, or frying something in the frying pan. And then they record that as like water rain sounds. <laughs> sounds crazy, right? But it could be true. I remember listening and I was just like, oh, this could sound like frying chicken. <laughs> The rain will make us hungry. I know now I can't stop thinking about it because sometimes I put rain sounds on to fall asleep. <laughs> and then I sit there and I think, and I was like, hmm, this does sound like chicken. <laughs> listen to it next time if y'all ever listen to rain sounds. Mmm. That's a long time, Blue. Wait, what, Dale? All right, let's continue. Feeding the river. We need to gather our forces. Gather the forces. Are you gonna make me read? Dang it. Firstly, allow me to brief everyone on our present situation. <gasps> There's a hole in my sock. Thus, at the very least, we believe this Hubigo knows where La Martia has been taken. Thancred is shadowing their boat even as we speak, and I should like to join him with all haste. Unfortunately, our quarry had the foresight to release our punity from its harness, leaving us without a means to give pursuit. Marinville, as an expert on wildlife, what are our chances of recapturing the beast? Why does he have to call it a beast? It's a cute little sea creature. With the right mix of feed, it can be done. I should like an extra hand to help scatter it about, however. Oh, so we're gonna get it back. Would you accompany him, miss? Meanwhile, the rest of us should work on getting the harness repaired. It appears to have been damaged when the punity was let loose. With all the peddlers here in camp, we should have little trouble, trouble purchasing replacement materials. As for any necessary metalwork, Earthenshire's artisans are but a short walk away. Then let us divide the task and have at it. 
This is gonna take a long time. I guess there's no other way, right? There's no other boats and stuff to use. Come on, Anvil, we got these. There was an unusually aggressive herd of wild punities downriver, so our girl will have fled in the opposite direction. Come, we'll try the waters upriver. I listen to the rain and thinks <laughs> this does sound like chicken is very funny out of context. Wait, did you not hear the rest of that, Rhea? Okay, where do I go? Oh, this way. Oh, no, really, Blue? Oh, I hope it gets fixed soon. Did you message Twitch about it, or? There's gotta be a way to get your account back. What is he doing? What is he hitting? What was he gathering? What were you gathering? What was here? I guess it's rocks. I can't see them though. No, I did. It's just if someone didn't hear, <laughs> the rest of it would sound random. <laughs> Assuming our punity has come this way, she'll be hiding the depths of Marsh Ligaka. We'll need to lure her back to the shadows with the promise of food. Wild punities eat mainly aquatic grasses and plants, but the, t but the tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Knowing this, I added leftovers to the feed I've prepared. This should help the mixture stand out against the marsh's natural scent. That thing would give me nightmares. Look at this thing. Called a widow maker and all. The Gaka is crawling with predators, however, so I'll leave it to you to scatter feed deeper in. I'll be waiting for you near the shallows with the rest of our punities enticing feet. Okay. It tastes good. Ah, How many aether currents are in this area again? Okay, I have five left and then I have five quests. Should I do the quest on stream or does it not matter? I think I'm gonna do them off stream just so that I can I can do this. Hello, Aaron Bell. They don't really matter what quest, the Aether current quest. Thanks for lurking, a baby, a baby. Okay, here we go. All right, here you go. Ooh, it's sunny now. Okay, there's one. And then right here is the next area. Step back out of sight and leave the rest to me. Do the off stream? Okay. Okay. Will do. How pretty the flowers are. Oh, here she is. There she blows. Oh my gosh, she's bigger than I thought. Shh, there's nothing to be afraid of. We just need your help one last time. 
You hungry, I wager? Come on, come with me. Wow, Erinville's so good with animals. Yes, there's a good girl. Aw, she's floating. We'll be fine here, I think. I'll give her a few more treats and lead her over to the boat. You can let Kona know we have our punity back. <laughs> Did kind of sound like a death claw, Lulu. Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry for scaring you. Wait, that's funny. It did kind of sound like that. It didn't sound like a... Well, I don't really know what a manatee sounds like, to be honest. <laughs> but that was not it. How is on top of the water? Don't question it. Why do we have flying cars? Well, actually, maybe that other area. What was it? Solution 9 or whatever? Maybe that explains it. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyways. Aaronville has the punity in hand then. Good. I expected nothing less from a certified gleaner. If, if it can fly, why did we need a raft? <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> As for the harness, we were able to purchase all the parts we need. Okay, F it, it doesn't matter how we get there. It's just as long as we, it's just the friends we made along the way. All right, here we go. Uh, the Livelu twins are over in Earthenshire right now, having the pots for and make the repairs. I'm told it shouldn't take long. We'll be ready to embark on an, our rescue mission as soon as we hear from Thankrest. Man, I thought I was gonna be at Yok the Yokwe people place by now. Darn it. Solution nine is the solution. I figured. <gasps> Wait, I get an Aether current for doing this main story quest? <laughs> Thankred must know something by now. You found her? Understood, thank you. I had but to invoke his name. Thancred followed the Hobigo's boat to its destination and confirmed that they are indeed holding my sister captive. They, of course, being Bakulja Jan, his minions. I swear I will make them regret this. Lemati is in rich leaf tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap in the puni punity and make our way back down to him. All right, let's go. Run for it. Ooh, is this the next dungeon? No. But what if? No. Wow, this is a pretty area, though. Fendred. The third promise is up ahead. She's unharmed, but we best not dally. <gasps> Ooh, I like this area. Wait, this looks like the area in the dungeon. <gasps> oh no, they have her captured. Who is spinning? I spit <gasps> on these pathetic feats. Far more satisfying to claim the baubles by force. Aw, man. Give it back. Fosentan poured his everything into that stone. You've no right to touch it. Yeah. Oh, was that the name of your artisan? How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant! <laughs> you tell him. What does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, 
You'd be first in line. Now, now, brother. You shouldn't tease her. Look, the poor thing's on the verge of tears. Aww. Meow. Someone <laughs> save me. Wait, wait, that's kind of funny though. Meow. <laughs> Not cool, Jaja. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vic. Get him, Dank Red. Oh, just kidding. His Kona. <laughs> I forgot he had a gun. Wait, does Dank Red have a gun? Where is he? Coward! You dare ambush me! Sunblade. Tis the blessed sibling's favorite tactic. So he's a machinist. Nice. Makes That's sense. Useless Buna was sick of it. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Buna wa. Buna wa. Oh, he's talking. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Oh, you must tell me all about that. You tell him, Kona. Freaking. Ooh, I love this. You wouldn't want to hit our hostage. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Look at my face! Not cool, man! <laughs> Ooh, it's time to fight these baddies! Oh, I'm gonna walk right up to them. That one's not to be underestimated. They can do nothing while we have. <gasps> yes! Ooh, my smile. <laughs> yeah! Ooh! Okay, that was attractive. Okay, thank Red. <gasps> Aww! Wait, that's all He caught your own. Oh, Impeccable you. timing. Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> How much he are you all right? Ooh, the voice acting was good there. Thanks to you. Uh, <laughs> this is so cute. I love this. Oh yeah, look at look at us. These weaklings think they can defy us. We'll slaughter the lot of As them. As if you think you can outrun me. Patience, brother. The keystone is ours. There is no need to fight this day. And Zoralja has left us hurting. No! I won't stop until I've got these maggots and beat them to the entrance! We need to get our keystone back. If we fall <laughs> here, we fail our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? Uh-oh. <sighs> What about our keystone, though? No, brother. Break off! We retreat! Wait! Ah! Uh, damn you, Bakun Shacha! Whoa! What is that? What is that? How did they? What is that? They can just teleport like that? Do we give chase? Or did they, was that like a smoke bomb? How much he is safe. And that is what matters. But he stole our keystone. The heck? <laughs> oh no, he's injured. It's okay, I can heal him. What a bunch of pansies. Pansy Jaja. Ooh, calming music now. This is ooh. Oh. oh. I was hoping this was gonna be voice acted. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to see you unharmed, Lamati. Thanks again for coming to my rescue, Kona. And all of you too.
but Kuljaja must be desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. I shouldn't have been so careless. I underestimated him, and it cost me a keystone. Fongentine, um, unended, up, not unended, <laughs> upended his life so that I could accomplish the Moblin's feat. He believed in me, believed in my cause, and I've let him down. The contest isn't over yet. You're right, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> yeah. The next time I meet that brute, I'll knock him straight on his scaly behind and take back my keystone. Yeah. That's a good, good, good idea. Speaking of vengeance, didn't Bakul Jaja curse some useless Bunawa sycophant when he caught sight of us? A reference to Surilja, I would assume. He is devoted to our brother and is the only Bunawa I know of participating in the Rite of Succession. If Zorilja was somehow involved in this, I will never forgive him for putting our sister in danger. He will have forfeited his right to be called brother. <laughs> They're like, wow. Well, that's probably what they were talking about. How he seems so cool-headed, but he's actually not, really. <laughs> that's cute, though. But it's because he's passionate. Aw, sweet. Uh -huh. Bakula Jaja should face punishment, of course, but so must the bandits who had the Timetri tim tim to abduct Lamity. Timetri. I shall request that Father Sin contingent of Lands Guard to enforce the law in this region. I assume that measures need to be taken to keep travelers safe. But I wonder what pushed these people towards a life of banditry in the first place. If we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everyone. Aww. He's like, oh, and that's why I love my sister. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Ugh, so sweet. Tis something to think about. For now, however, the right continues. I thank you all for your help. It's cute. I so cute. So cute. We should be moving on as well. Are you feeling fit to travel, Clement? You bet I am. Zeral just gained a good head start, and it's time we clawed back some lost ground. Well, we have our boat fixed now, so... Yeah. Do you have some type of, of color filter on? The color seems so muted. No, I don't have any filter on. I think... Yeah, what Effin said. I think it's just because it's raining right now and cloudy. It's really colorful, usually. But... It's not, it's not sunny right now. I really am sorry this happened. From now on, I won't let my guard down around suspicious strangers. And again, I do appreciate you all coming to save me. <gasps> Aether current, huh? Yeah. Now I have... Oh. Oh, that was... Oh, that makes sense. Hi, Yase. I am. You should have seen me in the dungeon. Actually, I died in the dungeon, but I was, it was fine. <laughs> Banana Pond's Cake? Mmm, Royal Toast. Is that pancakes? Oh, no, that's toast. Maple Teriyaki. Hmm. History's Keepers. You know it's a big mission when you see a photo right here. The road beckons, friends. Let's be on our way to the Yokwe. Then it's time, or then it's back to where the path through the mountains begins. You remember the spot where you were tricked into walking off with Wakessa? Wow, Wakessa. Just going to rub my face in it like that, eh? I wonder if he's raising my hackles on purpose. 
though. You know, trying to keep my anger directed at him instead of myself. Either way, we can't be standing around here all day. We have a lot of lost time to make up for. Do you think Lachlan, Matt, and Aaron Bell are going to fall in love? Or are they more like sibling friendship? Oh. Alright, we have to go. Oh god, I'm going to fast travel far away. Alright, let's go this way. I think Aaronville hates everyone. <laughs> Sibling dynamic? Really? There was one moment where I was like, maybe. I don't know. Is that weird to think about? I think it'd be cute. Anyways. I could... <clears throat> I couldn't leave without letting Red Rock know what happened, so I stopped in Earthenshire to say a few words before moving on. And now Aaronville's nowhere to be seen? Couldn't he wait a few more moments? Ugh! So much for giving him the benefit of the doubt. Come on, let's, let's catch up. I want to give that smug leaner a piece of my mind. I worried Wacklemat would agonize over the loss of her keystone, but it seems I had nothing to be concerned about. Oh, a cryo. <laughs> That's where you are. I was like, where am I looking? <laughs> Onwards and upwards, then. Oh my god, this reminds me of like the climb I had to do, or that I not had to do, <laughs> did in <laughs> South Korea. Oh boy. Up the mountains! Which moment? He smiled at her though, and I thought it was kind of cute. Go to a non busy one. Ooh, we're in the mountains. Where am I? Oh, this is where I'm at. Not a new area though. You also see sibling? You don't think there could be a spark between them? Is it because we're a different race? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe they really are sibling. I don't know. They have known each other for a long time, but, but, aww. Y'all just want Aaronville to yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. As I'm sure you've noticed, the air grows thin at this elevation. Take it slow until your body adjusts. Deep breaths. Drink plenty of water. Oh, because we're high up. Yes. High altitude. A few more steps and we'll be in Warlar's Echo. Warlar's Echo. Warlar's Echo. Warlar's Echo. Warlar's Echo. Look. Ma mountains. It's a bloodsucker. It's a vampire. We got a Widowmaker and a Bloodsucker. Man, the monsters in this region ain't playing. Mountains. Is it snowing? Oh, it's snowing. I guess that makes sense. We're in the mountain. Okay. Ooh. I like, I like, I like this. Oh, this are what the... I was wondering what the Yakui would look like. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> so this is what the Yakui look like? Ah. They look kind of like the Zora. But. Yeah. But not fish people, obviously. But thick. <laughs> But the, like, the king guy, I don't know, if you just don't look at anything below their belt, 
Maybe. <laughs> Are these new? Have we seen these kind of creatures before? Or is it is this new? Oh, that's like perfect placement to cover your butt. Lure me lure. <laughs> I think I like I'm gonna like these guys' names. <laughs> I can't recall. Okay. Alright, here we go. Yaqui! We made it! Phew! I think I'm getting used to the air up here. This area looks cool. Are we gonna go in there? So this is the place from the Lay of Proof where Papa met with the Yaqui. They got some cool earrings. And big ol' eyes. And then must that and that must be them. I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside of a pitcher. So it is for most Tarali. The giants rarely visit the lowlands. Here in their mountain fastness, they tend to the solemn duty they pledge to undertake in their pact with the dawn servant. To watch over the Tural Vidral. Oh, oh right, I forgot about this guy. Va Vali Valigarman Valigarmanda. And maintain its prison within their temple. Oh, so that was their task to do? Ah, oh, yes, Waklamet told us about the Tural Vidral. Creatures that live for far longer than normal and awaken to strange powers. Indeed, yet yeah, even among those anomalies, Val Valigarmanda is unrivaled in strength. It has endured for centuries, bringing cat catas catastrophe each time it emerges from its lair. Ooh. As you learned in the Lay of Ice, it was Gululjaja Gul who at last managed to imprison the beast and it and it has lain dormant in the temple ever since. Is that ice? It's gonna break out of the ice. What are they doing? They need to repair that roof. It said the building still bears a gaping hole in its ceiling from when Valley Garmanda was lured inside by Gul Gulul Jaja's final ploy. Oh. I'd like to see the, str the strongest of all Toral Vidral. I wonder what it was like to fight it. Well, Warlord's Echo was where both the Lay of Proof and the Lay of Ice took place. Does this not suggest we'll be facing two feats this time? That's a question we can ask the Elector once we find him, or maybe we should flush out Bakul Jaja first so I can beat my keystone out of him. <laughs> Let's find that thieving cheat! <laughs> Dang, right! Now we're gonna start looking. <clears throat> Perhaps the feet should take precedence while we're here. I'm sure there will be other opportunities to confront Bukul Jaja. <laughs> I suppose we do have four keystones key to earn, and no matter what we do, the contest will pit us against him sooner or later. No, let's fight him now! Well, I need to turn on this. that I drink coffee probably doesn't help. All right, all right, let's seek out the Electa. Then I suggest we pay a visit to Kar, Karyorzar. Karyorzar the Gracious, uh, or so their temple is called. The Moblins told me that high luminary <laughs> Griffinur, <laughs> his names, Griffinur is to be found there if we are to ask someone for information then he seems a wise choice <laughs> i love these names oh my god you're for learn mm. all right where's walk lament wait do i need to repair no i'm good i, I repaired It's very stony. And everybody's sitting down and drinking. Having a good time. You're drinking mezcal? 
Indeed, I'm rather fond of this stuff. Wow, they are really big. Look at his hand. <laughs> Look how tiny I am. Okay, let's keep going. I like walking around though. Hold on, one more, one more, one more. I wanna spy on these people's conversation right here. What are they saying? Are they saying anything? Just looking at each other's eyes? Okay, what about you? Far larder? supposed to be okay let's see if I can convince the guards to let us through I am Wakumat, third promise of Tuliol and I seek your elector for the right of succession may I speak with Griffler the high luminary has granted a minute to the claimants you may enter huh that was easy than ex easier than expected in we go then in we go are we gonna see Veligermanda? I bet it's a giant bird dragon. God, is that? Ooh, let me see. I Veligermanda. Ooh, we do see it. <gasps> oh, it's a spicy noodle bird. Oh, it looks like ooh. ooh. I like the tail. Okay, so it's, I don't know. Looks unique. Kinda looks like something we fought in like a savage before. Or, what are they called? Not trials. Good old Griffler. <laughs> Welcome, Griffler. Hi, Luminary Griffler. I want to ride it. He is not here at present. I am Luminary Zermerwer, <laughs> not to be mistaken for Griffler. <laughs> Zermerwer. <laughs> Zermerwer. Okay. Zermerwer. This is the Sky Ruin Valley Garmanda. It is the Turalvadral. <laughs> Whose name ha has evoked terror since time immemorial. It just needed a snack. Uh, even my people, once conquerors of all beneath the sun, were as brittle leaves before Valley Garmanda's tumultuous power. I like it. When the sky ruin descended upon Urkopacha eight decades ago, the casualties were staggering. Had Galul Jaja and his companions not intervened, we would have been slaughtered to the last. Dang. <gasps> okay, yeah, that looks really. Look at his headpiece, man. Their titanic battle with Valley Garmanda raged for 10 days and 10 nights. As their foe fought on, tireless and relentless, our heroes were pushed beyond the limits of their endurance. Jeez. Thus did the Head of Reason concoct a desperate plan. Galul Jaja tricked the Sky Ruin into losing control of its own ice magics, causing the unwitting Tural Vidral to encase itself in frozen ether. Mm. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying their name, Bic. We're trying to. And it's been like this ever since. Nice work, Papa. That's the Pope's final form. <laughs> but what happens if the ice ever melts, right? That same question looms large in our minds for the magic sustaining this prison grow weaker with each passing year. The Valley Garmanda commands powers of fire and lightning and ice. Some believe that the violence of the recent storm was the result of those energies slipping free. Ooh. 
okay. That raging tempest from Valley Garmanda? Setting future worries aside, you are come to attempt the feat of proof, yes? The high luminary chosen elector of the dawn servant has left me with instructions for all aspiring claimants. You are to scour our forbidding mountains and find the waiting Gurfler. This is to be your challenge. Wait, we have to find him? That's it? What? Ah, so the search itself is the feat. Okay, it's kind of like the Pelu Pelu a little bit. Figuring out, well, that was figuring out which one is the elector. Never mind. You've already spoken with my brothers, I take it? I have. Their expeditions are underway. All right, we're last, but that's okay. Then we better pick up the pace. Aye, but we'll need a direction to search in first. Let's see what hints we can gather from the villagers. All right, time to find Griffler. Thank you, Griffler. Forgot his name already. Hide and seek, my favorite. <laughs> you know, I would be that person to be like, anybody need some ice? Chip, chip, chip. <laughs> Here's some ice. Ooh. Here we go. Hi, we thought it. Is that how I say your name? Hi. The snake escaped. <laughs> how could this be possible? I needed ice. <laughs> I was thirsty. <laughs> and my drink was hot. <laughs> Kylie with a couple of ice. I thought it was fine. Gods, Valley Garmanda is enormous. I know Papa had friends with him, but it's incredible he could hold his own against that thing. Should its prison ever fail, though, we can't expect the old guard to come running. It'll be up to us to save the day. Yes. <laughs> it would be funny. Oh, probably not funny for others. The feet of poof. As we've just been informed, the feat of proof requires us to seek the high luminary Griffler somewhere upon these mountains. However, if earlier feats are an indication, we must assume the challenge precludes the Yaqui from answering our questions in a straightforward manner. Thus, I would ask that you pay close attention while attempting to divine Griffler's whereabouts. Though the giants may not give us preci a precise location, there may be clues hidden within their words. Such is my theory, anyway. Let us see what we can discover. So they're gonna give us, like, riddles, I guess. Or something. Oh. Oh. Ooh. These people up here. Oh, no. A Yorga were. Okay. The High Luminary? No, I've not seen him today. Now, let me ask you a question. That Zbrawl, I don't know how to say that. Zbrawl, who came out of the temple earlier, was that really the third promise? Yes. Hrothgar. Pain! Thanks for the five different subs! How are you doing today? Happy Sunday! Did you have a good week so far? Or week? Weekend? Week? Fourth of July? Anyways, thank you. Zbrawl, how do you say that, chat? Should I just say Hrothgar? Zbrawl, Zbrawl. Zbrawl. I need to hear it again in a cutscene, darn it. She seems rather unimposing. How is she meant to succeed the mighty Gulu Zaza? I don't know. Bro. Find out soon enough. He, why did he just complain to me? I'm asking him a question. Oh, look, Kryle's, Kryle's like, ooh, what are you guys doing? Whee! Oh, I was hoping to take a photo. <laughs> oh, there's Alpha now. All right, here we go. 
Ziffler. He'll know where Griffler is. Ziffler. What is he doing? Oh. Asking after the High Luminary as well, are you? I know not where to find him, but I do hope you have the opportunity to speak together. He is a great man with a deep reverence for our, for our traditions. These glyphs we carve, for one, he affords them as much value as any treasure we possess. They are records of lives lived. Your arrival too. I will etch into the stone that the story of our meeting may endure for untold turnings of the sun. If you are curious about our ways, then I bid you visit Proof to the northwest of here. It is one of our grave sites. Cool. I'm going to be etched in stone, chat. That's a fun love, love language, you know? I etched our meeting in stone. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm on the MSQ grind myself. Where are you in the MSQ now? I'm still, I'm on, oh, 93. I need to change it. I'm on 93 main story quests now. Zibbler. Zibbler, what are you doing? You're looking at the wall. Oh, he's counting his stuff. A uh, Tuli Yolen? No, you are far from farther away than that, I think. It's one smart cookie. As for the High Luminary, I can only guess where he might be. He is War of the Sky Ruin, but also Keeper of the St Sepultries? And his duties often take him outside the village. Sepultries? Sepultries? Alright, Gifflery. I like saying his name. <laughs> If I hear it different in the cutscene, I'm gonna be disappointed. Wee, wee, wee. Hearing the crickets. First things first, was anyone able to coax forth a definite location for the high luminary? Not quite. As expected, what then of clues or other hints that might point us in the right direction? I heard that in addition to his usual duties, Griffler is also charged with keeping the graves. As did I, the Aquis sepultries appear to hold a special significance in their culture. Hmm, but would it be appropriate for us outsiders to enter into their burial grounds? They said we can go visit. Proof, you say, and he encouraged you to visit this place yourself? I, <laughs> for a second I saw that as poof. Then let's go and take a look. Even if we don't find Gruffler there, it will give us a chance to learn more about the Yakwi. The gravesite is somewhere northwest of here. Well, we can leave from that side of the village for a start, shall we? We shall. Griffiner, we're coming for you. My tune is adorable. Thanks. I love playing a Wallowfell. Okay, uh, this away. Whoop. Gohler, Gohler. I'm on 93 as well. Pretty sure I'm barely ahead of you. Like, I think I just went through all of this yesterday. Working on giving my alt classes experience since my main hit 100 already. Wow, pain. <laughs> I didn't know you were that far ahead. Holy cow. Good job, man. Where are you looking at, Cryo? Oh, I think that area. The others have gone on ahead to proof. Following the trail west, there are sharp drops everywhere, so we're all moving at our own pace. Some of us are not built for craggy terrain. I thought to get my bearings from up here first so I don't stumble off a cliff. Why don't you try catching up to Erinvel? We should be able to point you in the right direction. Oh, come on, Cryo. Just jump! 
I'm just kidding. Actually, am I? I'll show you how it's done, Cryo. Wee! 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 Okay, we're good. That thing is so terrifying. Tule dial. Oh, there's Alice. Wee. Ooh. Ew. Creepy tree. Actually, creepy bush. What are these things? This is cool. What is this? It looks like a meteor fell or something, maybe? Wallafells are great for when you're just a little hungry. Specky! Daily roulettes, the experience is absurd. Oh, yes. I was fate grinding. Are you fate grinding, Pain? Is that your. Do you like doing this stuff? I finished two areas. I'm really proud. It took uh, it took a while though. Four to six hours each, I think, or more. I can't remember. Take a look at this crater. There's no wood, no trees, not even dried grass, and yet the ground still burns. This must be oh, this must be one of the scar. <laughs> this must be one of the scars left by Valley Gramanda's rampage, as told by the saga. Dang, and it still burns? The sky ruins fires are described as eternal. Flames that can be quenched by neither storm nor time. And here I thought it a literary embellishment. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah. That, that spicy noodle bird is not to be trifled with. No chipping of the ice. Ah, but now I've lost sight of Waklamat. Proof is northwest along the main road, so hopefully... She's still heading the right way. Oh, I bet it's, I bet Valley Garmanda is a trial. Don't answer that chat. Shades of grief. I don't know, I know I'm not supposed to go over here, but I'm gonna look. Shades of grief. The heck is that? Is this like an area that they... Excuse me. Excuse me! Ah! I just want to look around. You know, I should be looking at my compass. I guess this was another area they used to live in, but now it got destroyed and overrun with monsters. Where's Wakulam at? Whee! Whee! This way. I start the fate grinding when I get flight in a zone, or if I'm... Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I was luckily with somebody that already had flight and just taxied me everywhere. Shout out to Effin! <gasps> Aether current! Yeah. Are Aether Currents always nearby in the story? I get sidetracked easily wanting to gather in new zones. Fair. I was, since, since I'm behind in my main story quests, because last week was just hard, right? Because I had that sponsored stream and stuff. So I only do main story quests on my, on my stream. So because I was behind... I couldn't really do much, so I can't. Now I can. Now I can start leveling up my my gatherers. But I was like so bored. I was like, I want to keep playing. So I started leveling up my crafters. Not so bad. They were all level 20, except culinarian. So the fact that they're all 40, 50, pretty proud. Patient gravekeeper. Oh, there's flowers. Interesting. Kylie used the cloud for the free plane tickets. What? 
<laughs> it's just my friend, Specky. Hey, hey, welcome to Matt wins again. It's so convenient, Pain. Looks like everyone is here now, so... Greetings, friend. Are you good for learn? No, I am not. The High Luminary did, however, task me with providing a lesson on sepultries to those who came in search of him. Ooh. Oh, so we were meant to find our way here after all. Are you to tell us who is buried here? No one is buried here in the sense you mean. When a body has served its purpose, we consign it to the flames, then scatter its ashes across the peaks. Oh. Moreover, we do not con con we do not conceive of death as others do. For us, a person does not die when their heart ceases to beat, but only when they are no longer born in the hearts of all who know them, all who know them. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Kyla, lovely. I know, right? So tell me it's crazy. It's my dating for a 25 stream streak. I need to get more water. This is why we build our sepulchers before age or mishap claims us. That we might etch ourselves into the living chronicle for all eternity. Interesting. Well, what if the graves, what if these like get ruined? You know, like Valley Garmanda, you know? Wait, how do they build it before a, oh, they just build it before they die. Oh, okay. Is this his? This grave, oh no, his grave, this grave belongs to a good friend. His mortal vessel ended its journey some years ago, but he lives within me even now. That's sweet. Up there stands my own sepulchre. Oh, that's his, this one, or this one? As long as it exists, so too will I. I will endure in the hearts of those who read my grave glyphs in the same manner my friend does in mine. Aww. Has it always been thus for your people? This conception of existence and death? Continue along this path to the indelible... Indel indelible passage okay continue along this path to the indelible passage behold the history upon its walls and you may find the answers to your questions Ooh, a riddle then that's what we'll do your traditions are fascinating i love to know more i thank you for allowing me to share them for in doing so will i remain in your hearts also Oh, wait, that's cute. Were these really the people that, weren't these the people that were like, they ruled over the Pelu Pelu and the Hanu Hanu, or was it these people? They seem so sweet, what the heck? I'm only four quests ahead of you. Boy, you better catch up. No, I'm kidding. I'll do it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on these lights behind me. One second. Hold on. I don't have any other games I'm playing this week, so I'll be playing Final Fantasy all week. But if I'm, if I'm not streaming, I will just be doing side stuff, like getting Aether Currents and whatnot. That was cute. I like, I like how, I like their way of thinking about death. How nobody really dies. It's, they only truly die when you forget about them. It's also kind of depressing. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's kind of nice. Yeah, nice sentiment. And they just like, have like your diary written out on stone for all to see <laughs> pretty much 
Don't do anything bad. Otherwise, it's going to be written in stone forever. Ooh, this is a nice cave. Ooh, what's this? Are we going to see another Zodiac and Heidelin drawing? Ooh, this is cool. Okay, I'm guessing they'll show us. Stoic Chronicler. <laughs> Heidelin Dropkick. Hello, a fellow we met at Proof suggested that we come here. Yes, the High Luminary commanded that I watch for your arrival. As the chroniclers of our people, it has ever been my family's duty to pass on the teachings of the murals from generation to generation. Eee, story time! They really are magnificent, and together they tell the tale of your people's history. They are the events which shaped us. I would share them with you ere you continue on your way. Please, we would love to hear all about it. Then I will begin. Hold on, sir. <laughs> no, just like Corgi butt. <laughs> and Corgi's butt was in the way. This first mural depicts a time before then 11, wait, this mural, this first mural depicts a time more than 1100 years ago. 1,100, long time. An age of great prosperity for the Yaqui. Blessed with size and strength, unmatched by other peoples, our ancestors marched forth and brought much of Yaqtural under their dominion. I was right, it is these people. Right. Then, when all before them had been conquered, they turned their gaze northward, seeking to expand their territory and power. Here we see the expedition of Zach. Jacques Turon? Jacques? Zach? 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 <laughs> I think so. so. I can't do my X's, man. Here we see the extra to Zach Turon. Unable to cross the strait by ship, our forefathers set to building a bridge to the northern lands. A grand labor which consumed the greater part of a century. Yes, I remember the bridge. Oh, yeah, they were the ones who built the bridge. Zorgor, Zorgor, the Boundless. We still make use of that bridge in Tuliolo for travel. I can't imagine the patience and dedication it took to compete, complete a work of that scale. Yeah, for real. But I've never heard of any Yaqui living in Zactoral. What happened to, ones, to the ones who went north? Look upon this next mural and behold the answer. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait a minute, let me tell my story. Oh, they look, it looks sad. This scene suggests that many giants perished all at once. What manner of enemy could have repelled their invasion? I don't really know what I'm seeing here. Are these hands? Punches? They're sad. And I guess these are all like dead bodies, maybe? But they're like, blessed be the rain of tears. Hmm. Oh, these are dead bodies. Oh, I see it now. These are like their wig hair things. And this is like their mouth and their eyes. Oh, I see it. A foe unnamed and unseen. When the expedition pushed forth into Zoktural those thousand years ago, its soldiers were felled by disease. Oh, it was disease? Interesting. Some terrible illness? No, no virulent plague or newly arisen blight. For the local Tonawata, Tonawata and Shitona, it was but a mild affliction of the sort that comes with the turning of the seasons. So it was like a cold? To them, but not to the Yaqui, maybe? Hmm. 
What manifested for them as slight fevers and coughs, however, proved deadly to our people. Out of every 10 Yaqui who joined that northern campaign, nine succumbed to the infection. Those who survived continued to suffer, finding it difficult to sire offspring. Really? Interesting. Hey, Orzean COVID? <laughs> it's, it's her, I've heard of this before. Lacking an inherited resistance, visitors to distant lands can fall deathly ill to, to diseases a local might shrug off. Right. These events might have also give risen, given rise to the practice of cremation rather than the burial of mortal remains. Ah, because they didn't want their people to... Interesting. Maybe, maybe. The final mural depicts the return of our grieving brethren to Urkopacha. The reason they first left, why they had fought so long and pushed so far, was to ensure peace for our homeland. Oh, okay. So that's why they returned. This undertaking began in ancient times when our forebears learned they shared the continent with peoples unlike to us in appearance or custom. They feared invasion was inevitable. <clears throat> okay, that's why they did what they did. Okay. Rather than meekly await their fate, they decided to strike the first blow. Yet, as they fought on and on, the old idea of peace drifted further and further away. Only after the disaster in Zakhtaral and their withdrawal to the mountains did they come to understand. The peace we envisioned had been ours for the taking all along. It was here in the place which birthed us, here in the stones upon which we recorded our days, here in this tranquil life we had traded for conquest and conflict. When you do nothing but fight, it can blind you to what's right before your eyes. But, er, and so we return to the present. I trust you found this brief history of our people enlightening? Yeah. I'm always glad to learn more about my fellow Turali, how you've lived until now and how you wish to live from now on. Then I believe you are ready to proceed. The High Luminary bids you meet him upon the summit of Warkor Zamor. Warkor Zamor? I want a s'more. I had a feeling we'd end up scaling that big old mountain. Well, it's a feat worthy of the name. Follow the trail south of here to begin your ascent. But be wary. Beyond the entryway, the mountainside is home to ferocious beasts, both mundane and otherwise. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the warning and the lesson. Wait, the big mountain that we always see in the cutscenes? Like, the big, big one? That's what we have to go through? Or go to? Finally, we know where we're going. To the top of Warcords Moor. That is it. Ah! Ooh, is this my dungeon? Is this another dungeon? Work or some more. Griffler. Wee, 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 wee. Wait, where do I have to go? Where is it? It's up there. Oh, that thing. That? Wow, it really is like the mountain I climbed in South Korea. Ooh, this looks so cool. It's like the moonlight. Yeah. Wow, look at all the flame. Flame mignon. It looks like scratch marks on the on the mountain. This thin mountain air is going to be the death of me. What? How long have you been standing there? I was just taking in the scenery is all. Come on, we don't want to fall too far behind Alphano and the others. Sure, Alice. Okay. Kitty. Wee. Ooh. 
flint. Ooh, those they, look at the bombs. <laughs> they look kind of cool. It's just called sorrow. Fantastic. Nice and happy. <laughs> so this is the entrance to, oh my God, a freaking cat butt here. <gasps> wow, this looks cool. Look at this. With the moon. So we have to go up the mountain. You remember how the Chronicler was saying that they, the more they fought, the further away they moved from their idea of peace? It occurs to me that if Zoralja is attempting the feat of proof, that he will have heard that same lesson. I can only hope that it's made him reconsider his own stance on educating people through war. I hope so too. Did I get anything from... No, I didn't get anything from that. Okay. I didn't pay attention. <gasps> cool! The High Luminary. It's dark. I don't see it as cool as she's like. Oh, that looks still. That still looks cool. God, that is one tall mountain, and we're supposed to climb it. I'm, so, I'm kind of hoping it was daytime, but oh well. Oh. Far there, Tomar, Tuliorlu, Korogar. Do not expect to walk here unchallenged. Tell me, stunted one, did those short legs bring you all the way from Tuliolo? <laughs> That's what they said. He's speaking the old Yokhui tongue. The words are difficult to catch. <laughs> Though your words are crude and cumbersome, I use them for your benefit. Thank you, Vorpler. You are a claimant. In this right I lost of the succession. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. Yes. Your point. That's a dark thing to say, friend. I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokhui we've met. Yeah, I think so too. We do not grovel before Gulul Jaja like those shameless lapdogs. Oh no. My brethren and I are conquerors, and we will restore our people. To their rightful place, Asturas, overlords. The giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted, which they realized could be had right here. Is she, gonna, is she talking him down? Oh, dang it. Justifications of the craven. <laughs> what big eyes they you have. <laughs> the case from our ancestors. From the dream we kept alive for a thousand years and more. Oh, we forgot to ask him about the city of gold. Maybe we'll do that after. They are. Unworthy of bearing our legacy. I will reclaim the glory of our people. Okay, sir. And our ascension begins with the death of the third promise. God. Wow, hello Stop. now. I don't want to fight you. Men dying 
on your knees. Okay. <sighs> What's that? Ah, it's a bird! What the what? Whoa! Opportunistic vermin. Seek to feast on us, do you? What? Down here, your neck will be the first. I snap this day. Like a crystal bird. Looks cool. Eagle, maybe. More like eagle. Ooh. 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 Good job. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, am I gonna heal him? Oh, okay. She could have let him die. But she didn't. <gasps> did you see Kryle's little painting she did there? Yeah, get him, Kryle. Paint them a new face. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he is healing. Look, we're not the bad guys here. <laughs> Why do you help us? Because we're not bad people. <laughs> I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. Oh, uh, that's cute. We're cleric. Thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to my fairy family. We're so happy to have you. Hello. <laughs> you beat the devil out of it. I <sighs> suppose I feared you'd die before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. <sighs> She's so cute. To what? And... Oh, that's simple. If we're to share the land, it's the best way for us to become friends. How is he? He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. If you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk with Zorma. Are we safe to leave Alphano with these guys that literally were just about to fight us? Okay. Understood. Be careful up there. What do you mean? This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, you might want to worry about your comrade. <laughs> so stubborn. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Then we climb. The furler is waiting. The furler! Gurfler, I like mine better. Okay. Are they? Are, are we safe to leave Alphano here? Wow! Look at it. Pink clouds. Is this a dungeon? Pink. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah! Next dungeon! <laughs> I got both dungeons! Yeah! Yeah! Alright. Alright, are you okay, Alpha now? Okay. Alright. Who's coming with me? I know Vic really wants to go. Okay, Vic. Hold on. Vic. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you invite Vic? You're gathering. Rhea, do you want to come? Who wants to come? And looking cute as ever, Vic. Are we ready to go climb 
The, uh, what was the mountain we climbed in South Korea? <laughs> we need Todd. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Thanks. Thanks, dang. I knew you did it. At least I think you did it. Thank you. I don't think it's, it's like my thing. He reloaded overlays. Uh, I think it's my, it's mine. It's mine that's not working. Cause when I try to hit pause, it doesn't do anything. See? See, it doesn't do anything. Anyways. Um. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yay. Next dungeon, what cars are more? All right. Climbing the ever-ending mountain. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we really are climbing it. Ooh. What is that? Crystals? Like the bird? Ooh, the music. Beginning. 
Oh, he has little, oh my God, but they don't have ears. They're like a mini version, but no ears. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. So, uh, uh, what? Captures his own minions and eyes. Oh God, okay. I do not understand. <laughs> You got you followed me correctly, even though I think that was wrong. Fluffle up. Oh, they're bigger. Um, oh, okay. Let's go over here. And then we're gonna go back after there's explode. I think. Uh ow, oh. <laughs> Can we retry? Can we retry? Can we reset and retry again? Dang it. What did I what did I do wrong? Uh man, this is the first boss. <laughs> um sorry guys. Um Oh, shortcut. What am I doing? Um um uh, I don't understand. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna pay attention more. Not that I wasn't already paying attention. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, okay, okay. It turned it turned it into ice, but I didn't really know what I don't know what that meant. Thanks for dying, guys. Cuteness overload killed us. Dang it, I didn't do this fast enough. Oh well. So Fluffle Up is where he summons his brethren. And then they're like gonna go in these directions. Okay, you would think that you would go here first. But he, he freezes these two. So I think that means we can stand here. Because he won't attack. Oh, and then we go over here, and then they attack after they get frozen. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so go to the frozen ones first, because they don't attack right away. Alright. So these two are first. Okay, so we should stand in here, and then stand over there. Unless you're the tank, you can do whatever you want. Okay, and then we go over here. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it this time. Yeah. All right, now what? All right, that was easier than I thought. Snow scoop? Scoop in some snow. All right, okay. What the heck? Oh God, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, awkward. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Thanks for moving out of the way, Vic. I was like, uh-oh. Okay. Perfect. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's a combination. Oh, crap. Uh. Oh, my God. My brain. Okay, here. Here and then there. I think. Oh, God. Please don't die. Okay, go, 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 go! Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. Frosting. Oh, right, that's that. All good, all good. I did my AoE heal. He's gonna die! We did it! We did it! Woo! I can't get this. Okay. Wow, I like it. I like it. I, oh, I'm supposed to go ahead? No, 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 you go ahead. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the giant lion, crystallized lion looking thing. Woo! All right, first boss down. Oh, a bloodsucker. Now 
the way, Edward Cullen. Trying to kill me. <laughs> I was definitely not trying to. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know whether I should move it because I knew you were gonna move out of- I, I assumed you were gonna move out of the way. But it's a good thing they didn't go off at the, the same time that the other mechanic was going off, you know? Woo. I got lucky there not calling that out. Oh my god. What? Man, he's one tough cookie. You'll have to find another path. Think of it as an added test of your resourcefulness. Okay. Bro. Wait, what's his name again? Zoralja. Right. Right, Zoralja. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, what's that? Wait, hold on. What is it? Oh, it's a ring. I thought it was like bunny ears. Oh, <gasps> what's all of this? Well, oh, I want these. Okay, I can't do that. What does this look like? Ooh, I like the skirt, but that's not for me. I'm assuming it's the same though. Wee! Oh shoot, I'm coming. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Hold on, I'm running! Okay. Got it. Oops, wrong button. Oh well, this is okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay, spread out. Get as far away from each other as possible. I'm slowly being covered in crystal. Wait, why me? Wait, get me out! No! Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> Wait, y'all could a Oh. Oh, look away! Oh, oh god. What? Here, look away! Oh, almost. Oh god! Ah, look away! Oh, shoot. Look away! Look away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Early snapshot. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, let me give us a shield. Okay. Here, Evan, don't move. Actually, yeah, don't move. You're not gonna move anyways, so. Okay. Okay, uh, collect... I don't know, gear? I really don't understand this. Ow. Oh, are we supposed to stand on the crystals? Oh! Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna go back here. Can I move, boss? Oh, no, you can move now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was casting... <laughs> I was casting... Uh, recitation on you. That's why I told you not to move. Yay! Hmm. I don't feel satisfied with that boss fight because I don't think I did the stuff right. <gasps> A necklace! Wait, did I get the other thing? Oh, I did. Wait, is this bad? Hold, can you hold on one second? Is this better than what I have on now? Wait, no, I think it's the same thing. Oh, no, I think mine's better. Oh, no, wait. It either, um, if I want determination or spell speed, I don't know. Um, oh, thank you, says Zazurian. Hello, thank you. Okay, all right, yeah, get that. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> you survived, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I got drops for a game I'll never play. Aw, you don't want to give Final Fantasy Fortune a try? <gasps> Thank you so much for the eight months. Aw, oh, that's sweet. I appreciate you. How are you doing, Desirian? So rate me on a scale of one to ten. How did how good did I lead that second boss fight? What if I think we were supposed to stand in the crystals when he was doing that stuff, but it doesn't make sense to me why you would want to stand on crystals like that. You would think that would hurt. But I'm not, I really don't know. 10, there are no mistakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to know? Don't tell me yet. I think I, I'll probably want to do the dungeon again. Probably not right away. And then maybe I'll figure it out. Ooh, what the heck? It's, what is that? Oh. <laughs> A pitcher weed? It looks like the... What are those... What is a Venus flytrap called? Like the type of plants? Carnivorous? Not carnivorous, but... You know what I mean? When they eat bugs? There's another plant like that looks like that, that... Traps flies. And other insects. But I forgot what that flower's called. Darn it, it's gonna bother me. <laughs> but it looks like that. A pitcher plant? Is that what they're called? I thought they had another name. Or, I don't remember a pitcher plant. But it does look like a pitcher. Cause they like drop, they drop in it and then I think there's like sticky sap inside so the bugs can't get out. And then it eats off the juices of the 
fucks. That is true, Kane. You're right, you're right. We're just too good. Oh, there's more loot. Oh, I already got this. I can't get it again, right? No. Okay. Wait, what's going on? Oh! Oh! Wait, we have to fight Griffler? Whoa, Griffler looks different. Look at his mustache. Or beard. I am he has a like... Elector of the Dawn Servant. He has a like gold. Prepare to be tested. Dang. Okay, so this was oh, okay. Look at his shiny gold hat. Okay. Alright, sir. <laughs> Alright, give me uh one second. Hold on one second. Okay, let's pass on the machinist stuff. Hi, Mor Morlin! Hello! Good for <laughs> Alright. Good for Alright, good for You want some of this, bro? I'll give you some of this. This is a cool. This is cool! We're on top of the mountain! Okay, alright. I'm focusing. I'm focused. I'm focused. I didn't do it fast enough. What, is he, what did he do? What did you just do? Oh, what was that? What is that? Oh, water! Get over here! Get over here! Whoa, that's cool. It's like he summoned like a glyph. Whoa, fancy. Is this gonna go away? Oh, it's summoning another one. Fire. Fire. Oh, 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 okay. So here and then here. Oh, and then spread out. Cool. I will take the measure of your resolve. Okay, yes, 
Ooh, yeah, do that. I guess I could tell y'all to do certain... <laughs> Shield us. Oh, okay. I don't have my stuff up yet. That's okay. Ow! Jeez! I'm gonna use this just in case. Okay, don't move, Vic, real quick. I'm gonna cast this on you. Alright, what are we doing? Okay, wind and tornado. Alright, dodge tornadoes like you do whenever they appear. There's probably something else he's gonna drop down. Some water or something crazy. Oh, or, or we're just gonna kill him. Just kidding. I didn't even see his health. Wow, we did it! That was, a, that was good. I liked it. I did better on that one than I did the second boss fight. Yay! Woo, I did it! <laughs> Turn it back up. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Woo! What is this? Poncho. Oh, that's cool looking. And then Viper Swords. Okay. Nice. Wow! Look at it! We're on top of the mountain! Ooh! <laughs> Got a butter knife now. <laughs> Yay! Take a photo time! Photo time! Come over here. Let's get a... Oh, no, no, no. Let's take a photo with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a photo with him. Oh, well, how do I do this? Okay, um... Okay, well, I'll be a little ahead. <laughs> here, let me just... Maybe I should sit down. I gotta get there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Yay! Memories. Okay. Alright. Perfect. Are y'all happy with that? <laughs> We did so good! Thanks, guys! Look how big he is! Look at his hand! I fit into the palm- oh! I fit into the palm of his hand! Want a Dorito, sir? Watch him be like the nicest guy ever! Alright, let's exit! Hi, Just Eld! How are you? Oh, that was so good! That was so good! That was so good. That was fun. I did. I can't believe I got to the second dungeon. I didn't realize. Very good, Claimant. Once more, I name myself Gur Fulur. High luminary to my people, and chosen elector of the Dawn Servant. Ah. You are much bigger than the others in the village. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> All your queen were once my equal in size. But ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our form. Stature. Oh. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Jacques Tural expedition. Jacques. The Jacques. one recorded in your murals. Jacques. Jacques Tural. That's how you say it. Jacques. Jacques. Like Jacques, but Jacques. Like Zach, but French. Jacques. 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 I am not going to remember that. Jacques. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. What? How? Huh? I've heard that legend originated with the Yokui. Is this true? I'm so happy. I pronounced Yokui correctly 
before I heard it in a cutscene. <laughs> With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Preceding the campaign into Shak Tural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. Oh, so that's why they made the bridge? Is because they thought it was going to take them to the Gold City? They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives of eternal happiness. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. You know, don't say this, chat. Don't answer this question, but I wonder if Solution 9, or whatever that place is called, that I haven't gone to, but I know about. Is that the Golden City? <laughs> then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the City of Gold. Yes, help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Ah. Little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. Ah. Uh, eh? Okay. <laughs> They're not giant like I'm let Another down. Another claimant, I see. I will test your worth as I have tested those who came before you. <laughs> He looks so tired. Well, what's that? Is that some magic healing juice? Here <laughs> now, her. I think he means. Cool. <laughs> He's like a oh, health potion. <laughs> okay, out of the way. <laughs> okay. It's his turn now. Pokemon Max Potion. Oh! Wait, they're already done? Oh, no, not yet? Or wait, are they done? Oh, they're done. What does that look for? Wait, they're done? Oh, they're done. Okay. <laughs> well fought, second promise. For you and your sister's success in performing the feat of proof, you both shall be rewarded. Yay! Three to go. Three? I can't remember what we have left. Green Apple Jolly Rancher. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. True. Again, <laughs> it took me a minute. Swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. Really? On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcore Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. Because it's grand. Or not. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes. It is a place of great significance.
All these monuments. Is this a burial ground? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Armanda brought ruin to Urkopacha eight decades past. Oh. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. Sorolja, I should have known you'd arrive here first. <sighs> ah, third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. Sorolja, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will leave. But you don't understand. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. Aww. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulcher. Wait, his father? Wait. Wait, he Papa has, has one? A grave? Yeah, what? I love how she doesn't really have any big pouches on her, but pulls those stone tablets out of nowhere. <laughs> Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda. Your father's included. Gulul Jaja, master of resolve and reason, champion of peace. Okay. Good thing that she can read that. I can't read that. <laughs> Look at this one. Ketanram, navigator of uncharted oceans. Ketanram! The Ketanram. mysterious... The Lamincent Explorer? Yes. Does this mean he joined Galul Jaja on his travels? I guess so. Kafkiwa, Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. Kawat? Kakika? It what? was unheard of to build cleaving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. New name. I have to figure out who that Master is. Master of resolve and reason. Champion of peace. Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valigarmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? Love for peace. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> of course. Papa's love for peace. For his people. That is what he's given me. I wonder if he's wanting all three of his children to take his spot. As like and I'm together. fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. Like all three of them working together to take over Tural instead of only one. Uh oh. What in the hells was that? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. You must return to Warlord's Echo immediately. Valigarmanda has broken free. I knew it. Oh no! I presume that was about the unholy sound. Uh. <laughs> Valigarmanda is free. We need to get back there now. Oh man, that's a long climb down. <laughs> How fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. What? He's not gonna help? Wait, isn't Valley Garmanda supposed to be one of the trials or something? Is it not? All right. Let me go turn in this quest, but it's four o'clock. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> Even though I don't want to, we're gonna need to. Let me go turn in this at least. No, a cliffhanger. <laughs> I feel like there are better times for outpacing your rival, but that's just me. I know, right? Oh, Kryle and a new crew? But who... But who else? Good, you're back. There is much I would explain, but by the time I arrived to investigate a sudden surge in ether, there were already fallen giants everywhere. Right now, everyone is preoccupied with treating the wounded. Pray catch your breath, then lend a hand where you can. Interesting. So somebody did it. Somebody unleashed Valley Garmanda. I bet it starts with a ja, a ja, or a ba, a ba, and then a ja, ja. 